Holy shit, we're Yo, here. It's we beginning. Made it. Top eight of the Big Cheese Four, the biggest, most important major in uh, Oceania the, and the Southern Hemisphere. The biggest cheese yet. This is a top eight jump scare right into it. I know, we're <laughs> off. <laughs> and Ruben, the people's champ of today, uh, made it to top eight. Heartbreaker of his head for Jordy, my, uh, my housemate, but uh, he's playing well today. Yeah, not a, not a heartbreaker if you're a Ruben fan. In fact, quite the opposite, a heart maker. Many people's hearts fluttering today. There's a lot of Ruben fans in the crowd. Yeah, the Nang Gang is out in full force. Uh, letting us know how many yobs he's had. I, I, I don't know <laughs> what they're... 16. Oh, 16 uh, 19 at last count. Yeah. Yeah, they, they haven't been making the signs uh, in time to keep up with the amount of yobs. The sheer quantity of yobs. Yeah, the, the, is consuming. the sign economy is really not able to keep up with the yob consumption. And, uh, you know who is able to keep up with the yob consumption of Ruben? Uh, Lax. Come on, Lax. Just a, just a classic player. He's from Queensland, the land of yob. The land of the Yob, and he's no stranger to these top eights. He's kind of a top eight mainstay these days. Exactly. Most of these players, top eight mainstays. Ruben, no matter how rusty you think he might be, he will always make it a top eight. No matter how little melee he's played, no matter what hour of the night he was up to. You know what? Jordy was a little heartbroken after that set, but he said, you know what? Ruben will always make top eight. You can't fight nature. And it's on home turf as well, you know. At any given bam, he can do it, but... Big Cheese is just an inevitability. Any given Here he Sunday. Is. Any given Sunday. Crazy movie. Boom. And the crowd already going wild for Ruben with that uh, pretty, pretty normal style down smash. Yeah, Nangang loves it. I don't know how much of the crowd mic you guys have, but I'm sure at some point the crowd will seep through. Oh yeah, we got the crowd mic? Love yeah, they be seeping. Uh, some crazy chants went off in the, uh, the Jordy Nang set. <laughs> And one thing you have to be really careful about, uh, as Lax in this matchup against Nat and Nanks in particular, uh, coming off that top flat with us with aerials. Yeah. Nanks is waiting in the corner, like a little shot. Oh, that's how we ended the Jordy set, just reading that high up B, and Lax is a bit of a theme for that kind of drift back high up B. A lot of, it's hard to cover if you kind of don't react and wait on stage, but if you read it, yeah, he's a reader. Easy he's back a watcher. And, um, something that, oh, my. Something that uh, Monkey was uh, killing Ruben with a lot uh, in their set earlier on the stage was shine off the top at ridiculously low percents. It's just insane how early that kills on this stage. Yeah, Nang is always willing to go to Yoshi's and stuff, which is super interesting to me. I think he gets so much mileage off wave dash back down smash in the corner. Yeah. yeah um, recovery is good as well, like as you can see, Randall getting in the mix. You know, I, I said uh, Nang is like a shark, but I don't think he is. He's like a. Uh, He's like one of those crabs that like lives in a hole. Lives in a hole. A little hermit crab. <laughs> a little hermit crab. He's a, he's a funnel web spider. Uh, for those of you un uninitiated in Australian spider varieties, he sits in his little hole in the corner sometimes. And uh, if you walk into his trap, it's up. You don't walk into his trap. He's kind of like a. I've heard of being described as the bear trap. Yeah, Joshi once said uh, they want tap you. I think he might have been uh, exaggerating a little bit, but they've been known to. Nags will win that game. Nags, uh, Lax, uh, taken to the gun right there. Getting it done with just an F tilt, I believe. Um, not messing with Ruben in the corner, saying you're at high percent. But mid percent, it's so much worse EV for me to go in there, bomb an aerial, and maybe get reversals. But this is going to be a kill. We're at last slot game one. I love that forward air by Nags to beat the, uh, the shield on the side of the platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Multiple attacks. Old school but also needs anti-shield push-off tech. Yeah. Ooh. Just missing on the down tilt. Oh, oh whoa! Wow, wow, he clanked? Oh, did it? <laughs> it didn't reflect, it clanked. The, the one frame of invincibility. Yeah, I was gonna say the one frame. <laughs> That's crazy, you rarely see that. Yeah, just the ref I don't think the reflector comes out frame one, does it? No, it comes out frame four. Yeah. Uh, so the frame dot of nerds in chat. The invulnerability of the that. Wow, unreal. That's, uh, dare I say it, lucky. I, I think you can get away with shooting a few less lasers against Ruben, because Ruben will, like, whiff grabs. And yeah. if you're shooting constant lasers, you're never going to get a chance to punish this. Uh, my theory against Ruben back in the day in this match in particular, uh, spam down air. Like that. Yeah. Oh, weak. Got to avoid the down air here from Lags. Oh, just... Great get shield up shine. One more chance. Okay. Well, he doesn't go to Randall. Not even interested. Wait okay, uh, I thought a laser ass match might be coming. Oh, big back air. He just finds him up there. Crowd going nuts. 
And Ruben, I've, I was saying uh, earlier today, insanely clutch player because he just shows up and uh, he likes the game. He was telling me um, that like um, he already lost to uh, Moke in winners, right? Yeah. And he was telling me, I mean, what else do I have to lose? That's kind of like that's kind of worst case scenario for him, you know. And then he's like, well, now I can just kind of play and like. Nothing worse than that is going to happen, at least in his eyes. So he is a man unshackled. That's correct. I think that might have been the difference with the uh, the Jordy Ruben set. Yeah. Honestly, Jordy took the loss to Vinny a little hard. Yeah. And uh, Ruben, he's always got a smile on his face. He's always got yolks in his uh, belly. Yeah, he um he did lose to Jordy in the full set, but you know for this set, I think uh, he had a little less baggage, a little less weight on his mind, knowing that he can just kind of go in and play his game. He's light as a feather right now. Right now, he's made top eight. He's in front of his boys. He's got nothing left to prove, but like anything, you know, after this is extra credit, and he is taking it to the bank. And uh, Lax decided to go to FB instead of Yoshi, which is too much to actually. Um, really abusing the uh, Ruben's tendency to up the out of shield. Honestly, it's like uh, Samus' is only option. Yeah. Uh, and also, you have so much space to like retreat against Samus on this stage. You don't yeah. really have to get hit. Ruben will whiff a lot of grabs out of the corner, especially. So, uh, good stage choice, and Lax is uh, making it work. Yeah. One thing I worry about with Lax on this stage, he does have a tendency to jump into the air. Uh, he's really good at it. He's one of the best full hoppers uh, in Australia, I would say, at Sapna. But uh, a little bit scary when you don't have a way to get down. If you're caught out, um, again, to call back to the Monkey set on this stage, um, Ruben caught him once at 0% with like two weak back airs and he just died. Yeah, that was classic guy. Like 20. Oh, and he's oh, oh. Reaps one done. That's one great trait of uh, Samus' grab. Because it's so slow, it creates so many slot dodges. Yeah, shots. right? I will say, Ruben as a player, whether he's on the Samus or on the Falcon, is, he lands like probably the highest amount of grabs per game yeah. in Australia. Like he, just, he loves to press that button. No one lands as many Samus grabs as he does. Yeah, he's like a moth in a Samus body. Yeah. Max is a... Uh, oh. yeah, right. yeah, he's fine. But yeah, he's gonna... What did he just run into it? Oh my god. Where are you going, like? I was gonna say he's got a clean lead, but now he's got a, you know, a fleeting lead. It's so nice when you're a Samus and you just shoot a hopeful missile. And they just don't do the right thing. Because, <laughs> like, missiles kind of like Falco Laser. You land lagrously. If you're yeah. landing, you may as well shoot one. If they run into it, shoot yeah. it. Exactly. Again, Lax. And Lax is playing with fire with yeah. these jabs, because Samus can through CC jab really high. Uh, but just away with it there. For the, uh, for the last time, I promise, but in the Monkey set, right? The way Monkey won uh, was uh, Ruben just didn't know how to deal with the Falco full hop. Monkey was just full hopping around, and it was just working. I, that was great. You got the grab release. Yeah, yeah we do have so much data on uh, Ruben vs. Stalker in this tournament. So let's see if... Uh, ooh, ooh, clean. Sick of these coming games. Like, on that stage, Falco is just free to kind of full hop around. You know. Yeah, big whiff on that floor now, but... Uh, good job from Lax to bait it out there. Notice the Fountain. Really interesting. I don't think I like it. Uh, mid I'm at, sorry, actually. It's, you know what? I know how kind of mixed work. <laughs> thought it was the other guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Happens. Happened to me. I thought Tid was snurt, so... Ooh. Crucial mistake. Yeah. Another big lead. Oh! Doesn't recognize that he was going to bounce off the stage and, uh... Could have been another down air. It's really hard to beat, uh, Ted there. Mm. I think you just have to wait on the ledge. You can, like, shine back air or something. But then Ruben could have done, like, uh, an up, like, a wall jump up here or something. Yeah. There's a lot of mix-ups okay. here. Ooh! Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. I don't think I've seen that as a response to Samus Stella before, but... Yeah, that's all or nothing. And he had no reason to go for that big of a gamble. That's 30%. No oh, yeah. job. That's the lax experience. He just goes for it sometimes. Yeah. The thing is, Samus can mix up when she comes up from the tether, and so it's really risky to like kind of go for something down there to hit her, yeah. randomly miss, and then suddenly you're off stage and Samus is on the ledge. I mean, he would have been ultra dead. Yeah. Okay, yep. Cleans it up, not too much percent on Ruben right now. That's good coverage. I wonder if he can get around the dash attack there. Maybe get like a weak hit on the dash attack. 
get some little upwards, but yeah. And uh, I'm not sure whether Lats has game sound, but you can tell when Samus jumps a lot of the time. She makes a pretty conspicuous noise. Yeah, she's also a, an expert uh, dancer. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, so yeah, kind of like the Luigi effect, where game sound is actually kind of a big deal in this matchup. Because yeah, uh, Ruben did burn his double jump in that combo before, and I don't think Lats realized. Yeah. Again, full hop just over over whatever Ruben's doing. Like if Falco's full hopping coming down with either like a bear or a dare, depending on the spacing, it's so hard for Samus to like deal with it. Yeah, great catch on that up throw, but uh, once again, he loves to grab from the corner. It's cheesy, but yeah. it works. It works. And so many Falco set up their pressure around like baiting out the upbeat. They're rarely thinking about baiting out the grab. Yeah. And it's something you have to be so correct to react to. Yeah, a lot of people just aren't ready to like punish Samus grab. They'll just be standing right in front of Oh my hello. Yeah, they'll be standing right in front of Samus while she's in the right lag and just not know what the punish is. They'll, a lot of the time they'll like grab, they'll like do a weird move that doesn't kill, and it's like what yeah, yeah. the lazy boy, like, the Cody? Yeah, the lazy boy. <laughs> Imagine if he charged out of that though. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Shine and blocks the second one, okay. A little scary there. Black's still in this. It's quite a pretty bad recovery in the water zone. That's oh. scary. Nah, no, doesn't get that. And he's alive. <laughs> God, it's so hard to kill Samus in there. Oh. Still manages to get the sweet spot there. Oh. Retreating for water. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think he landed on stage, but I may be misremembering. Yeah. Ruben's getting like 1% of the time with like up B trades and grapple trades. It's a good percentage for him now. Yeah. Uh, you know, any kind of stray down smash or big nag is kind of going to send Lax off stage. Now, you freaking know Salton. You know that level. Oh, oh my <laughs> god! What a beast! Yo, did he just uh, walk up? Yeah. He, he walked up. Hey, anyone in chat? He's walked up. My man walked up. <laughs> uh, any, any, any melee fans in chat? That's such a statement right there. Oh my I God. think he just walked up. That's a, kind of a representative of the kind of player Ruben is. Just a bunch of bet it all on a big read, and he's looking at the screen. He's looking at what opponent is doing, and he's reacting. That's another way he's not like the shot. He's like, yeah, very much like a like a funnel web spider or like a like an owl. Mm. Some kind of hybrid of those two. <laughs> uh, does that exist? Anyone? Any animal guys? Yeah. Oh my! Ooh. That's what I was saying. It covers so many spot dodge and roll timings. Yeah, it's crazy how often you get hit by Samus Grab and you're like, what the hell? Fun fact, it cannot hit an airborne character, so if yeah. you're in the air, uh, yeah, you're good. Okay, Nair here. Oh, no. Woo! I love that. Took the scenic grab to the Nair. And, oh, gets a strong back air there, reads the drift. And I just saw Ruben's keys fall out of his pocket at this stage, and Ruben don't make a single uh, flick. Does not even realize. Didn't get the sweet spot there, but Lax rolled up. Oh no, charge shot. <laughs> he really bent it all with that death oh. flash and uh, nearly died for it. Oh shit. Oh my god, the jab. The hug 86 right there. Yeah, such a. Oh! Once again, two in a row, charge shots right off the ledge. Uh, Lax saying, like, respect my stage, but not really doing anything to actually, like, make her respect it. Yeah. Not watching close enough. Yeah, there it is. Oh, and he gets the wall jump there? Yeah, that's good. See, such a good mix-up off the tether. Oh. I think an up smash out of shield would have killed there. Instead he just grabs and now he's going to deal with this. Yeah, he needs to watch his joining bots. Mm -hmm. yeah, one of the only up smash out of shielding guys. A little pretty, too high there. Pretty bad up B from Ruben there. And, uh, Lax needed that. Because Lax was not ready to like commit to a hard read on the edge of He was yeah. just going to hang bears there forever. And you can't get around this. That's not it. Doing the kind of like, you know, ledge hop or like full hop, like kind of back air to hit the ledge is just so safe and it's just so nice when you get it. You're like, thank God I didn't have to do a hard yeah. up or risky thing. That's the Ruben, by the way. You F2 Ruben, he will always double jump, wave land on the platform. So if any of you are uh, ever playing Ruben in the future, feel free to use that. RNG, uh, really not good. I told him about that before Phantom. And he won? Uh, yeah, and he won. That's a classic Ruben habit. You know, I asked um, Josh before I had to play Muscat, I was like, what does Muscat do that I can, like, you know, cotton on to? And he's like, 
nothing, man. <laughs> yeah, he's got the most normal style. He's just so normal style. Like, I'm like, okay. <laughs> the no twerk. Yeah, I was like, what does he do more than other, you know, kind of things? Like, no, I got you nothing. Just imagine, for you, man. like, an amalgam of every fox. <laughs> Ruben, though, he's got his quirks. He's a bit quirked up. Yeah, and uh, he was worked up last night on uh, 16 yards. So, 16, uh, and we've added at and least three. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Uh, Ruben's kind of like dancing around this game, actually. Doing a lot of, like, empty waveland pressure. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see the line, like, how Sam is going to get a lot out of that. It feels like Falcon's really good at fight, and right now, Lax is kind of not. I think Ruben knows he's thrown grabs so many times that uh, Lax is going to be afraid of stealing forever. Yeah. Uh, surprisingly, didn't get the sweet spot there. Oh, oh he jump read. Uh, oh, he's going to jump. Oh, I think he did, just did. sniped out of that uh, tether, actually. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what? Oh, that's going to... Oh, I thought that might kill. Insane. I thought it was such a choke from Lax, and then it was so genius, actually. Oh! Catches a little top of his head there. Down there is such a fucked move. <laughs> you heard it here first. I, I, I can go with that wholeheartedly. And the crowd is really heating up, actually. Uh, we got a lost stuff. Yeah, and when it's lost stuff and it's Ruben, you're a little worried if you're about there. Yeah, one more stuff for the Nang Gang. This is... A real test of his metal as a player. Ooh, doesn't hold down there. You've got to hold down against those jabs. And again, now he's got a lead, and this is really everything for Lax. I don't like his shine there. It's not going to kill. Should have sent him back down to stage, but okay, dude, that's why they're in top eight and I'm not. Oh, yes. uh, oh <laughs> gets a spot dodge with the grab again. Oh, whoa! Oh! Aerial interrupt with that. that oh, no! Crazy. He's got his jump back, I think. He's going to go high. Oh, watch out for back air, Ruben. Relax. All of a sudden, so scary to relax. Recompose here. Doesn't jump. Oh, no. That's, that's okay. It. We haven't been seeing many of those, but fades it out. Gets the ledge right, here. Alright, look for a down tilt, I was going to say. Down tilt's going to kill at this percent, but... It's pretty much the only also. real safe kill option, I think. Yeah, that is so scary. He's going to look for it. He's going to fish. Relax is such a composed player. Okay. Oh, got the jump as well. Yeah. And Ruben nearly lives it, but... Uh, <laughs> I was going to say that aerial interrupt down smash, I'm pretty sure was a tech chase down air that he was trying to do. <laughs> you yeah, think Yeah, I think he was trying to double jump down air. Interesting, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it looked so swag. Yeah, it did look really swag. Oh. Oh, uh oh. I've seen this. Oh! So. Exactly the same as Jordy vs. Yeah. Nang's Game 5. That's such a trap that Falco's fell into a lot. I believe it was like Ginger or someone who was like. If you're at low percent, you can double jump back up B, because then even if they back air you, you can side B before they can do anything. But yes. I think I think Ginger, I think he was talking about Sheik. But if you'll notice, Ruben's playing Samus right now, and he absolutely took that to the bank. Yeah, notice the power suit, the, the barrier suit. Yeah. That is a different woman. <laughs> Not all women are the same, Ginger. That's <laughs> your name a woman, Ginger. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that's a choke! Letting Lex right back into the game. <laughs> oh god. Suddenly the, the huge lead has slipped away and is now a regular style lead. But now it's huge again. Oh, it's huge again. He's Ruben is a mode. game 5 legend. When the crowd starts heating up, people start freaking out. Ruben is on base. You got yeah. the sunny. It does help that in general they're freaking out for him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, my god. And he's like so powered up when he knows to look for panic options as well. Yeah, he's electrifying right now. All eyes on the Samus. Exactly. Who is even? Who is the other character right now? I don't know. <laughs> he's just waiting. It's like, it's like the little guy in that uh, that one Simpsons fight. He's oh, waiting for him to Lax do something. Oh, so desperate. He's gonna die for it. Oh, 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 big charge. He might make it on here. Okay. Gets ledge. Great Ang, but terrible photo winner. He's not executing. Gets the ledge finally. Okay, really how is he going to get a kill on Dreamland here? This is so tough. Oh! Okay, so big good. Read, 71. He needs a big call out there. Such an early kill. And he's really going to make the last of this stuff count. The dregs. Okay. Uh -oh. oh, doesn't Miss get the full through down air. He's choking a little bit. It's a game five. Oh, oh he's, he's just chasing just him around. Dead. He's simply dead. I said he was a funnel web, but he really looked like a shot there. Oh, my God. 
in his jaws. Oh, tries to read the spot dodge, but Lax holding shield, that'll work anyway. Can Lax snatch victory from the shark jaws of Ruben? Yeah, the, the vice grip of Ruben right now. I don't think Ruben's gonna let go. In SA, in his home turf. Yeah. Is this freaking boys behind him? With 16 yobs? Oh, say, 19? Such a in hard, his gut? Yeah, such a hard comeback to make against Samus. Like, oh, oh my Hunks 86! He's going crazy. Holy everything shit. is working out for him right now. Oh, my, everything's coming Oh, it's so over. Oh! <laughs> and there it is. Nang Gang coming out in full force. Hey, 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 hey. Check hey. it out. Check it out. We knew. We knew the whole time. We were sitting on this. Hey, there he goes. My boy. Yeah, somebody get rid of that Lax gang sign. <laughs> Just, uh, I don't want to be seen with it. No, no, no. The Lax pack. <laughs> the Lax pack and Shambles. All three of them. Hey. <laughs> Shoutouts to the Lax pack, though. Lax putting on a good performance at this tournament. Defeating Muscat to get to top eight. That's a huge win. Defeating Skip Ass's BM and Pools. Another huge win. I saw that. Mm -hmm. He went pretty... Pretty polo loco. He went polo sicko mode in game three. Yeah. He was down two stocks to four. It's looking like curtains. And he uh, just went killing mode. Yeah, Lax finds a way sometimes. Not today, unfortunately. Not in top eight losers. But uh, sometimes you just run into the brick wall that is uh, Ruben. Yeah. It's been cool to have him as a, a mainstay of top level Australian melee. Keen to see what he you know brings to the table at the next major. And speaking of mainstays, we've got a couple of... A couple of uh, people who side stays. Exactly. People have taken very uh, different paths to get to top eight big cheese today. Monkey, the new up and comer, uh, looking to become a mainstay. Mm -hmm. Very consistent play style, very good fundamentals. Second top eight in a row, my Second top eight in a row. And he's been slept on a lot, I will say. Yep. Uh, bit of a poster, bit of a young, impressionable kid. Yep. People didn't always take him that seriously, but he's put in the work and uh, it's really paid off. He's looking clean. And you know who else we've got? Oh, we've got I know. The South Australian legend, my first ever training partner. I used to catch the bus, uh, two buses in fact, to get to Mason's house. Yep. I would have my little notepad, things I wanted to work on when I'm playing Mason. I would treasure those two hours, oh. those three hours, whatever it was. Uh, and he's one of the oldest school players here. Probably the oldest school player still in top eight. And look, he's learned some oh, new Deca, tricks. Deca, Deca. True, true, true. He's here. He clutched on both me and Epps. Sopo, last off, game five. Both times he made it work. The thing about the old guard is they've seen it all before. He's They're not going to freak before. out. He, uh, he crunched the numbers in his head, and he was like, you know what this situation needs? Wave dash, down smash. And he was right. Yeah, Mason definitely the, uh, the old mountain sage of South Australian melee. Sometimes he comes down from the mountain and uh, blesses us with some wisdom. And he retreats, goes back to his meditative uh, cave existence. Ready? I will say, Mason is the master of practicing one kick 1,000 times. I don't even think that's true. He has so many kicks. I think he's got one kick, bro. <laughs> okay, you just lost to a Zelda. <laughs> I did lose to a Zelda. Yeah, that, that guy does have one kick. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying, bro. But, yeah, I mean, he has practiced that kick many a time. So it's going to be interesting for Monkey as a new up-and-comer, someone who's come up predominantly, I would say, on net play, and, you know... You want to you know what's a bad sign? What's that? Monkey just down edge, both climbers, and missed his L cancel. Yeah. Oh, you got to know. you got to know the timing is different, Monkey. Yeah. Either do a really late down air, so it only hits once. Yeah. Or, uh, you got to know. Yeah, I was about to point out the... Uh, ooh, that was kind of cool. I was about to point out that potential matchup in experience might be uh, an issue here for Monkey. Yeah. And I will say, Mason has... Predominantly found those. Games. Oh my god, Nana has absolutely clobbered Monkey there. Uh, shout out to many of these South Australian greats across time. Yeah. Uh, the, the Ra brothers, Rahil and Rahan. Okay, yeah. uh, I believe Rahil, one of the first great technical Falcos uh, in our state. Yeah. And Mason's long time practice. Player. Oh my god, shout out to Rahil. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, legend. And. Uh, Obviously, oh, KP Kaiser. KP Kaiser. First Falco I ever got played by. <laughs> the, the legend. I remember my first ever tournament uh, playing Jamage. Oh. And uh, Raheel was behind me saying, let's go, Marv guy. In like a kind of sarcastic uh, cadence, tone of voice. Oh, wait a minute. Down throw regrab. He's wobbling. <laughs> He's just dead. Died off a grab anyway. Can I get a, can I get a rules expert? Where's Cookbook? <laughs> Uh, so the, the codes are on for anti-wobbling and yeah. how it works is that you can four only pummels. get four pummels and before like the grab, the grab breakout like gets applied. 
So, like, you can get more if you're not, you, like, mashing, right? But the grab can break out, like, uh, you know, code. You know how, like, you can grab, break yeah. out of grabs? Like, there's a timer and stuff? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. That, that gets applied, I think. Yeah. Uh, did the chat just hear? See what? Did the chat just hear, Kai? Oh, here? I'm yeah, assuming yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, yeah. Great, great yeah, knowledge. Yeah. I love that that code exists. Because yeah, I, for one, do not want to learn the intricacies of the game rule. That's what, uh, that's what happens on Slippy. That's the code that makes it so that you can't wobble on a uh, on line. Really? You know um, who knows the intricacies right now? Mason. You know who looks a little puzzled by the intricacies? His clock is looking kind of clean right now. <laughs> My god, that was kind of... Like, and I say this in the literal sense because of the hammers, it's kind of a clobbering. Yes, absolutely. Mason's taking this all the way. <laughs> I am so glad he's back. I played him on that play a little while ago, and I was like, this guy kind of still has it. <laughs> yeah, he's got the game sense. Oh my god. Oh, gets out of the down air. He's doing some shit. He's by the ledge. Nana's gonna. Nana's doing her shit. Yeah, the punish game is just too crazy. He just died. What is that? Mason's the king. How does he do it? I, yeah, Monkey looks super on top of everything in every matchup that I've seen him play today. Yeah. Doesn't look like he has a clue. Yeah. So he confident in the Falco Ditto. He was looking like the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> exactly. Right now he's looking like the... Um, the other team. <laughs> the other guys. He's looking like the, you know, like the guy they get in to like, you know... You know when they've, they've got like a new wrestler or whatever that they're trying to push, you know, they're like, this guy's gonna yeah. be our new big character. They get just like some random local guy to, to fight him to make him look real good. Yeah, he's looking like, uh, what's Danny DeVito's character in Always Sunny? Uh, the Trash the Man. The Trash Man. He's looking like the Trash Man right now. <laughs> and, uh, Mason's looking like the, um, Birds of War. <laughs> yeah, Mason, a real patriot. Is that what they call the Birds of War? I think so. And the laser game is scary, I guess, uh, let it be said. Because you only hit one of them. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's two of them. Uh, believe your eyes, folks. There's two of them. You're not, you're not simply drunk. Yeah, shout out to the husband <laughs> for being the first to point out that there's fucking two of them. Yeah. He wouldn't know about that until like 2005. Yeah. Only two knew about that. I'm seeing double. Four <laughs> ice climbers. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Oh. 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 oh! oh! Just a good measure. Fuck Nana. Run her out of there. <laughs> and Monkey, like, consistently surprising as a player. Yeah. When you think Monkey is down and out, he will always find a way. I would not be surprised if Monkey learns the entire Isis matchup within the, the confines of this set. He's very sponge like. He's got that neuroplasticity, that 18 year old. Uh, ability to learn that we just don't have anymore. The, the Tony Stark computer behind those things. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the Google Gloss is definitely feeding him uh, tips right now. He's got RNG in the, in the one ear right now. Give him no advice. She gets grabbed up and down air. Crazy spot though. There's two of them, you gotta realize. The knockback stacking on back air is crazy. That thing yeah. hits so unbelievably hard. Anytime you get hit by two climbers, you are just in a world. It's of like fun. imagine getting hit by two of those hammers at once, and that's what it looks like on, on your screen. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that could be a kill. As it well. Ooh, and then it dies. That's crucial, but can he out here? Okay. Yep. Really good to just tank the hits there. Everything for Monkey here, like Mason. Having yeah, two I, FD games would be insane, but he, he's by the ledge. I don't know if he's past. Yeah, I, there's like a certain line on every stage. I don't know if he was past it there. Hence why Nana might have done the up throw. But, um, I was going to say, that might have been the whole set. I really don't think this is bring back the ball. Oh! Oh! Oh, Nana! Nana was just close enough to where he could do the up He was dead otherwise, and he's choosing to go for Popo here. Okay, Nana coming in extremely clutch. Get Nana out of there. He's back on the Popo. Okay. <laughs> the, crowd the, the crowd going crazy. They're hungry for a kill. Just they don't care who. Oh! oh! Okay, back air. No way. They're both alive. They're, okay. Oh, he lays his nana. Very clutch. Lays oh! Nana. Big F smash. Oh my god. Monkey. Did not give Mason room to breathe in that last time. Last Monkey is so clutch. Oh my god. That was incredibly clutch. For a player this green, for a player this like. 
due to these like high pressure situations. It is insane how clutch Monkey is playing. You know what it is? Monkey doesn't know what it is to put in five years and still lose. <laughs> Monkey's on the hero's journey right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> the, the the circle is uh Monkey's on his way around. <laughs> exactly. Monkey has yet to get to like the first trial of tribulation. Yeah. <laughs> He only knows trials, but has yet to face any trials. And I will say, Mason, he's gone the whole circle around. He's like on lap two right now. Exactly. He might be the meeting with the master. He might be the master. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> oh, and this is like, yeah, right the ledge. worst stage to be in an ice climb is on. You just have nowhere to go. Oh my god, that F smash sent. That was such a, a meek F smash. Yeah, also very late on the edge guard. Uh, he's gonna be kicking himself if uh, he does get the edge guard yet. Okay, he's rinse and repeat the arm. Yeah, that mix up. Oh. And Nana, famously a short sighted uh, lady. She, if you get a certain distance away, she doesn't even know what Hobo is. Uh huh? He's switching what? into the distance, blocks the supermarket. Yeah. Oh no! Kill! Oh, oh good imagine, tech though. Yeah, imagine Mason just did another aerial. Suicide killed. Yeah, I think like double jump up air would have like brought Falco down a little bit. Yeah. Maybe even like mash against side view. Like oh, Peach oh, Umbrella yeah. style. Classic. Uh oh, Ooh, and okay. the shield grab is just so strong. Yep, yeah, that's, that's it, that's simply it. it. The stage so brutal. Any kind of like dash attack, anything like least to grab, and it's just, it's just big damage. Falco can't really dance around the platforms. You've got to engage with the ice climbers. It's tough. And Falco is like better, right? Yeah. Like Falco has the tools, but yeah. Uh, this is such a knowledge based matchup, and Mason has been collecting knowledge in his basement, in his uh, garage. Uh, shout outs to Weezer. <laughs> It is, it is garage, dude. Listening to Kiss, Ooh. collecting info, reading books, studying the blade, the hammer. Monkey is trying to learn the blade the night before. Exactly. You can't cram the blade. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no! Oh my God! Ice to meet you, Monkey. That is it. And Mason sitting pretty in two Monkey. The biggest counter pick out of the way. That's the good news if you're a Monkey fan. Yeah. Yoshi's there story. are no big uh, roadblocks really in the way. You just have to cleanly outplay, and uh, Monkey has shown that he can. And I see what you've typed in the chat, Kai. Nick and I together went to Weezer. We, we sat, <laughs> that's amazing. We Let's sat go. side by side, and we listened to um, <laughs> Rivers <laughs> Cuomo. <laughs> we did sit politely in the assigned seating, yeah. side by side. There was the general admission area where all the true Wii's heads were, you know, given yeah, that they were exactly. all in the marsh. They were slammed in to the Wii's. Yeah, Nick and I in the um, in the bleachers, just a polite clap. A couple of classy gentlemen. Uh, when they played that song, uh, I Don't Want to Be an Old Man Anymore. Yeah. The good life I think it's called, it got to me. Yeah. It's good stuff. I gotta get back on the floor. When they went, um, when they went, bomb, 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 and then they turned to the crowd. I yeah. was like, ooh, now it's my turn. I get to say, say it ain't so. Yeah, thankfully did not stutter. Got the got the lyric pretty much perfectly. Yeah. So. I never want to disappoint Rivers. <laughs> was the oh, last great one. spacing on that down air from Monkey, but he's getting grabbed anyway. It's scary. And get it. Get up attack coming in clutch in every matchup all the time. Attack just a universally good move. Get up attack is just, you are getting too eager. Let me just, uh... Check you. Yeah, just, uh, sometimes you, you feel like you have the combo and the momentum, but you just forget about get up deck. Oh my god, Nat, I think Mason, whether it was a mistake or RNG, I wasn't yeah. looking, but might have just killed his own Nana there. Mason, over the history of his melee career, has had some heartbreaking Nana moments, I'll say it. Uh, shout outs to the KB Kaiser YouTube channel, where one of the first uh, ever historic SA Nick victories was over. Yeah. Over Mason in a, in a heartbreaking icy moment. Yeah. Whatever you do, do not look at what happens to Muscat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I pop off and I punch Muscat in the nuts. But to be fair, he was standing a little too close. He was in my personal space. <laughs> Girls with a time machine versus boys with a time machine. <laughs> exactly. Look out, Muscat! 
<laughs> oh my god, this is looking like a game 5 situation. Yeah. Save for some Sopo heroics, but yeah, the kill is coming out. You can only imagine that's for Monkey, and there it is. Game 5. You gotta go to a stage with platforms, Mason. You gotta. You gotta make it work on the big stage, which, you know. It's looking like Fountain of Dreams. What do you think about Monkey's sunnies? Because what I think is some people wear sunnies and they look badass, and some people look a little sinister. I think Monkey looks a little, he looks like evil Monkey right now. I think he's lasered in. I like the sunnies in that it makes me think that he's like closed off the outside world and it's just simply focusing on what's in the game. Oh! Breathe the shit out of that out of there, and that's gonna be it. That's just simply it. Zero to death almost, five damage. I've, I've seen this so much today. Game 5, a Falco just instantly dies. And yeah. it's like, what a mountain to climb. And uh, it's still part of the pun of mountain climb because something, something, ice climbers. Oh my god, he's just <laughs> down go. for a Got re grab. There. So much coverage here. Get up attack, there it is. Tries to read it, jump. Okay. Oh, it's so scary to rising down there against Icy's. You're gonna get reversal. Oh, Rolls no. into a crouching ice climbers. Mason saying, you're afraid right now. Uh oh. I'm, he can smell fear. Blood in the water. What? Popo doesn't get hit and gets the down smash off. Yeah. Mason's just trying to tap this in, I think. Mason's uh, on the run of a lifetime. Mason is truly not afraid and he has seen it all before. He's trying to take any trade he can get. Miller's coming back, but I don't I don't know if I like this chunk. It's a little sinister, I will say. A little, little evil. Yeah. Like a KO maybe would be a little. Exactly. Knockout. Knock him out. Down throw re grab gets it. Yeah. Oh, tries to jab grab a little bit of the cheese. Oh my god, the down air sent. So the back air. You know what though, the crowd's right. Uh, Monkey right now is getting a little killed. Crouch cancel grab. Oh, it's all happening. Oh, He's that no. Way. Boom. There it is. Well played, Mason. He still fucking got it. Well played, Mason. He's rocking along with the tournament and a classy handshake and, you know, tap on the back from Monkey. Knowing, you know, it was a good set. You got me. Good luck in the rest of the bracket, but wow. Yeah, I just think sometimes you're a new up-and-coming player, you've made top eight, and sometimes you just hit a knowledge wall. And yeah. uh, Mason, you can't beat that guy first time. No. Uh, when you're green, you don't know the matchup that well, and he has been around for millennia, it seems. He's seen uh, the Monkeys of generation past. And um, All right. yeah, he was ready to deal with it. Clutched up in a game five scenario, honestly, Kind of a massacre. Yeah. Look what they did to my boy. And um, he's moving on. He's in loser's quarters. Guaranteed a minimum of fifth place. Kind of the Cinderella run of the uh, tournament. Yeah. Unexpected. I, to be honest, I'm always surprised when I see him in the first place. Yeah, it's an, it's an odd thing to say for a player that's been around for so long. But um, look, it just goes to show that uh, the prime of his career is not yet past him. And speaking of an old school versus new school clash, uh, Josh, I guess, no longer new school anymore. He's been around, but uh, Decca, the oldest of the old. Yeah, relative to Decca, anyone yeah. is new school. And Decca, I think he's going to struggle here. Josh is a little too clean to fall for many of Decca's traps, but Decca has been playing well today. He's shown some magic. Yeah, he has not lost, I believe, in the entire tournament. Yeah, he's in winners. He's in pretty. Made it out of his pool first, I believe, and dispatched of any opponent that uh, came his way. And a great showing in, uh, in dubs as well. Yes, Let's uh, not forget clean, some of the crazy tippers he hit. Clean third place, Dekar and XP 2000. Um, but yeah, anytime any Australian player goes up against Josh, it's a little bit of ooh, a little bit of ooh. I think there's a few of us who can do it. Yeah, uh, I think Goody yeah. can do it. Uh, on a good day, Stop can do it, McLeod, but uh, Dekka... And, and in practice, SA Nick absolutely can do it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so true. So true, that's the next thing. And has. <laughs> let, let it be known. <laughs> oh, um, no. Uh, Josh, is, Josh is a little too switched on right now. Uh, okay. Honestly, Dekka are a little slow, and Josh spamming spot dodge. Those are the things that Dekka would like to be eating up. And he's probably in a little uh, disbelief right now, because sometimes you play a good player like Josh, and he gives you the thing you're after, and you're like, he won't, he won't spot dodge. Yeah, right? Like, oh, I wasn't ready for that. 
Crazy single hit. I'm shocked he got there in time. Yeah, it was looking like Deco was going to land on a platform or slide off. And he's got a single hit out there somehow. Ooh, and Deco not ready to land and dash after that shine. When you get hit by airborne shine, uh, it's like the measure of a cracked new school gamer to like keep you out of there. How did he get behind him and grab? You just tell it. Nothing personal. But yeah, as you were saying about the air, you know, being yeah. hit by the shine. And Deca, you, you just go sliding. Exactly. Deca has such uh, great like fundamentals in mind games, but some of the little like situational awareness, Shit. like so, is something he's like of recent years struggled with. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You see, back in Deca's day, they didn't have those. Yeah. You have to. You have to buy those. The, the, the magic works on anyone. <laughs> oh. Alright, Dave on the board. Uh, he's not gonna win this game. I'll say it. Okay, Josh is trying to do magic, but you know. Dave, one of the last bastions of uh, non JC grabbing. <laughs> Him and Hungrybox. Even HBox not bad for JC. Could have an accident, it. probably. But, um. You know. It's uh, Josh trying to do magic at the end there. You know, me, I say shut up and dribble, you know. Exactly, dude. Uh, we get it, dude. You better. Cool. Yeah, he was, um... I can't remember who it was. It might have been against uh, Syndicus uh, last thought, where he was, like, trying to, trying to swag out and kept missing the little swag option. The game went for, like, an extra minute, and we're like, I right, just... Go back here. Yeah. Stop wasting my time. But, uh, uh, great recovery, actually, from Deco there. Yeah, I will say about Josh, uh, winner of the, of, the, of the P plus bracket here at the Big Cheese. Ooh, classic Dave. That actually is a classic Dave. He is really good at calling out those uh, high uppies. And unlike your uh, classic American gamer, he, he's not looking for a down arrow all the time because he's born and raised on PAL. Uh-oh! <laughs> oh, my oh, dad! It never gets old! The magic! It never gets old! The magic works on everyone! <laughs> I've seen that. I saw him do that to SD 10 years ago. <laughs> the more things change, the more they stay the same, Nick. Exactly. Like, he can't run up and non JC grab and then kill Josh at 30, surely. De Deca has the best fares from Legend in the world. I've said it once, I'll say it again. Oh, Kadoran. <laughs> I love it. Deca has the best fares from Legend Australia. Yeah, I agree. There are some candidates actually. Melodic, uh, Ribbon, sorry. Very. Ooh. Maybe Moth Fair from Legends is just good. Maybe that's the secret. Uh oh. Oh, no, that's an M Smash, Dave! Keep it simple! <laughs> he goes for the fourth one. He's keeping it stupid right now. Oh! oh. oh. Keep MTV weird. Oh, no. You don't need to gamble there, Dave. Yes. Oh, it's so upsetting. He has. He's getting the situations, he's just doing the... Oh, okay. <laughs> if it doesn't work once... Imagine. Uh, <laughs> Imagine. Uh -oh. It's not that much of a stretch. Although, Josh has a big juggle right now, and Dave... Starts jump, but there oh, it is. And scary. Oh, scary. Okay. Oh, a life champ. Uh-oh. Living champ right now. Oh, yeah. Kind of a checkmate. He uh, got the jump with the shine turn around back air, and then... Dave just had to fall down into the loving arms of an Smash. Yeah, I'm sure there was a way around it, but Dave did not find it, and uh... And that's Dave's best real chance to take a game of Josh in a pretty long time. Uh, but it does bode well for uh, this game. Yeah. An all battlefield set, you'd love to see it. New York would be, uh... You know, foaming at the mouth right here. Yeah, Dave not an FD mask, really. Uh, very much more likely to take damage as a result of getting a grab on FD. Yep. <laughs> you will outpunish him on FD. That is yeah. simply the way it goes. I remember back in the day he used to pick Falcon on FD. Mm. Against Fox for some reason. Just... He's a vibe-based guy. Yeah, Dave exclusive strategy. Okay. Oh, three? <laughs> It's the shield poke, that was crazy. So silly. So goofy. And Josh can kinda do anything right now. I feel like he's feeling invincible. Yeah, he's trying to he's trying to go mango mode on him. 
He's trying to make Dave unplug his control off. Yeah. Dave, uh, too much of a competitor to do that. Josh is doing a forward error only challenge. What? Oh, that was maybe the best mid shot I, I've ever seen. I made. can't believe what I've seen in front of my eyes. Getting around double jab with a mid shot. Oh my god. Yeah. He is very much like a melody right now. He's like that. He has muffled uh, tunnel syndrome. And Deco cannot stop thinking about it. Somebody please have a look at his iPod. It is broken. <laughs> Check him <the> iPad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, up tilt. Oh, oh the up tilt was there as well. It would have worked. <laughs> Hey. Love a deck on top. Hey. It still gives me a warm fuzzy feeling. Yeah. But uh, I think we're uh it might be the, the last of Deckar and win in winners they're about to see. No. Oh, we yeah, that was crazy. What's he gonna do? Something crazy out there. <laughs> Some stupid Oh I'm imagine. <laughs> that would have been imagine. Awesome. Oh, yeah, there it is. I think if he just dropped bad from the Angel Fight, it might have hit him. I don't think he knew where he was running. <laughs> Josh, uh, ever the entertainer. Yeah. Uh, uh, takes that three. Uh. He's going, um. That's what Josh is doing. He's, uh. Who is that? Is it, is it Chopin? 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 I think the Chopin? entertainer is by yeah. Chopin. My classical music knowledge is a little rusty, but. There's a pun there about Ch Decker. And uh, he's chopping. Uh, can I get my chat punsters uh, on the case real quick? Joplin. Joplin. Look, uh, Janice Joplin made that. I was no, I was I'm only Joplin right? when it's, I said it's, that. It's Scott Joplin. I'm jo I'm joking. That is a joke for the uh, for those in the chat, the classical music heads. I thought it was Joplin, but then I was like, no, Janice Joplin is a. <laughs> I believe Scott Joplin also did, um, I don't, what's that? Go on blank. It's like a ragtime. What's the song called? Uh, uh, Maple Leaf Rag. Thank you, Wheats. did uh, Get Lucky. Thank you, Gimme That Wheats. Yo, Gimme That Wheat, the legend. The legend. Hey, I'm gonna love her. I'll be back in one minute. I was gonna go to, okay, you go, and then we'll, we'll rotate. Yeah, I'll hold it. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up, Kai? Oh my god. In the tone zone? I'm, oh my god. I'm looking forward to this set because, uh, not that there's bad blood, but boy howdy, is this a rivalry. This is the, the set of the tournament so far, I would say. This is uh, seed two and seed three, so for all of you Josh Man only heads, uh, this is the next best thing that we have. Oh, and we got the shout out Don V tag. I love that. Oh yeah. yeah this is the next, next best thing that we have in Australia. Uh, Correctly calling being in the tone zone, by the way. <laughs> yeah, Goody from Victoria. Absolutely uh, cracked and jacked Fox. You may have heard recently reset the bracket on Josh's path. So uh, if you're looking for a sign of how good Goody is, that is because Josh's mouth. All right, here we go. McLeod, an absolute peach phenom from Adelaide, and she is just one of the most uh, one of the most hardworking players in the world. Always looking to learn, always looking to adjust her gameplay. Uh, and the, uh, the innovator of the pedge, pedge dash. Yeah, right, like really the sort of first time that we as a community, as a collective, really got to see it, um, you know, be used in a tournament setting. It was like, it, was, it used to be just this thing that like, you know, oh, well, who's gonna do that in tournament? It's only theory, it's only like pass only, right? Yeah. All these excuses meant nothing to McLeod and just decided, I'm going to learn it. And yeah, we can talk about like using the Smashbox binds, like uh, angles or whatever, right, at the time. But like the thing was, is that she still was doing it um, not only on controller, but is still going for it on the frame one. Yeah, so it's on a, you know, kind of stock standard frame one light right now, I believe. Yeah, so it always an open, it's an open frame one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so like you can flash it, right? But like it's uh, it's all regulation, all right? Yeah, We're yeah. above board here, Skip. Regulation, you know, like the code is open source. 
We know what's going on inside the rectangle. We know what each button does. It's good. She's just good at the game. Yeah, look, just take our word for it, okay? Trust me. Just source, trust me. Um, so, we've seen so far, like, pretty, like, I don't know. I'm not going to say expected outcome at the moment, but it's one of these matchups where it's all in the scuffle, right, guys? Um, so, we have Skip dipping off, and now Nick is coming back. Hell yeah. What a treat this matchup is. Like this. I was just saying, what a rival we, we have here. A rival we. A rival we. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna wooze all my progress. <laughs> I'm gonna wee webs. <laughs> I'm gonna wee webs? <laughs> oh, grab ledge! Okay, that's fine. Uh, right back there from uh, the cloud. Yo, I don't what think do you think he can take. Edge guards, by the way. Uh, they're pretty good. I think the cloud's strength is like the scramble. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say I don't think Goody can take another loss in the cloud. I think it will crush Goody into dust. Uh, but as, a, as an honorary Ooh. South Australian, I, I do want the cloud to win. Oh, okay. Back air. One more chance. Oh, so smart with a weak back air. And a great first game for McLeod on the board for Adelaide. Let's fucking go South Australia. Any other South Australians in chat? If so, why are you not here? <laughs> Do I still have this one? I do, let's go. Hell yeah. Ooh, raise the shield grab the cloud. The cloud rarely gets hit by those. Um, so, you know, for the history books, we've seen McLeod 5 0 Goody in one orb fight night. Uh, money, what was it? A money match? But yeah, it was just like an exhibition, right? We've seen uh, these two play at Floating Point recently as well. Um, you've come off of a set with McLeod recently at the last major. Yeah. I just want to know, like, what do you think Goody's going to have to be able to, like, do to be a overcome this wall? He's doing well so far. I mean, Goody's strength is that he's blazingly fast. He's blazingly fast and he knows situations, uh, knowing the drain in his hands. So, I think with a matchup like this, where he's a little less experienced, he's going to have to really temper that a little bit and uh, play a little more careful and considered. But uh, honestly, doing amazing on this game. He seems to not run into the wall. And uh, mm. McLeod, for, his, for her part, sorry. Uh, <laughs> McLeod, yeah. McLeod, one of the best walls to ever do in Australia, especially. Like, uh, even, even internationally, no one is as clean as McLeod. No, uh, absolutely in not. In terms of, like, just rapid fire getting hitboxes done. You know what, yeah, you know what's crazy? It's like, you just get clipped once by, like, uh, you know, something in the scuffle, and suddenly it's like, Float cancel in there, float cancel fair, like just straight away into edge guard situation. I've seen um, McLeod like practice against, uh, like as part of her training regime, like against like 26xx CPUs for like 90 stocks in a row or whatever, right? And just being like, I'm gonna put myself in a situation where like no matter what, even if I'm under pressure, I'm gonna be able to like take something that's just like a random clipping and then convert into killing this space animal off stage. Yeah, the cloud is a true, honest to god grinder. Uh, loves the boring shit. Loves playing puff pitch. <laughs> loves adversity. Loves the grind. And we skip back on the mic. Well, I love him. Yeah. Back uh, to me. It's not good game one, pretty clean. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, Goody going pretty fuck wild. In this game. Oof. Shocked that McLeod managed to get a, a shield out there. Yeah, Goody was uh, four stocks to one just a second ago. Uh, um, many people have said that McLeod's last stock is among the hardest last stocks to take in all of Melee. In all of Melee? Yeah, she will not let go. Yeah. She will fight till the bitter end. That's the thing about uh, McLeod being a grinder, is she enjoys the adversity of being in a losing situation. So she'll just play it out and have fun. Yeah. The goodie had to work so hard to just find that one strong back air for like 40 seconds and finally got there. Taking a second there. And where are we headed? FE, of course. This is a scary pick. McLeod needs to make sure every grab is a kill. Because uh, you don't really get it. You don't get the kill, you get the edge guard situation. Yeah, so really this good. is going to be. Oh! Interesting. Okay, yeah. She still got it, but this is going to be like 100 damage. Something yeah. along those lines, and then some kind of like weak dash attack Nair, or just a straight up Nair. Goody's gonna be off stage regardless. Yeah, weak dash attack Nair, there it is. Yeah, okay, and Goody with pretty good DI, honestly. And Ooh, there it is. What a choice! I thought 
she was going to uh, back air on air there. I thought something was coming, yeah, not that for sure. Okay, this is goody time. Oh, they're all on it, Phantoms. Unfortunate, but he might not have got anything off of it regardless. And like, you think it's going to be easy to shell off Peach on FD, but there's still so much space to, uh, to land on. Yeah, it's insane. Just like the so mix-ups mix -ups. that yeah. Peach has on the recovery, the drift, the floats, it's unreal. Yeah, really having trouble uh, stuff out. You love to see this as a South Australian. <laughs> Defending home turf. Like getting a grab at 153% and converting it to an edge guard situation, beautiful. Tried to mix up his DI there with the uh, F throw. Still manages to clean it. Oh! 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 Yo! That was good. That ruled. <laughs> My god, that I don't think so I've, I've never seen that, I think. I don't see Peach go for like a grab ledge edge guard very often. Yeah, Peaks are, uh, I mean, Peaches usually are cowardly off the ledge. Uh, McLeod, though, knowing it's a guaranteed spot. That's crazy. And boom, there it is. Oh, it's so demoralizing to play on the stage as a fox. Yeah. And uh, forgive me if I don't sound demoralized. Uh, big South Australian. Yeah. Oh! It's just one grab into one read, and that's the entire stock for Goody. Yeah. Oh no, she's looking rhyme to get a juicy amount of damage. And it really depends what kind of oh. Goody we're seeing today, whether Goody can come back from this. Because there are times where Goody will get Shadow Realm by a loss. He'll get super demoralized. And there are other times when uh, the fire never goes out. She read his uh, jump out of the corner with an up air, and that's that's it. All of that came from a jump read with an up air. And the technical term, I believe, is that she got his ass. Yeah, freaking body. Can someone explain to me trot? Yeah, I don't know what the whole deal. Maybe, maybe I'm thinking well, too hot guys, to trot. Guys, do you like ponies? <laughs> um, I'm ambivalent towards ponies. I have as many positive thoughts as I do negative ones. I think that they're a pretty cute animal. Did you know, um, sorry, not to steal your thunder cap, but did you know there's a difference between uh, ambivalence and indifference? Yeah, ambivalence means you have opinions in both directions. Whereas indifference is you just simply don't have opinions. Uh, uh, fun fact for you, continue, thanks, guys. Thanks <laughs> oh, great power shield down smash. <laughs> oh, was that, was that the whole just about ponies? Yeah, sweet. I do like ponies. <laughs> Yeah, but not a real horse girl. <laughs> True. Oh! Woody's got to dig so deep here. Down a game and quite a deficit here. Against just a wall of a peach. Just a real tank as far as the melee cast goes. An immovable object. Yeah. Goody, Goody's in real fucking trouble right now, actually. Yeah, this is... Honestly, the favorite to, uh, to cruise to second for most people, I would say. Yeah. Goody had... I mean, funny that Goody snagged his zombie. Yeah. Because a lot of the time, back in the day, uh, people thought zombie was a lot better than he actually was because of the conversation surrounding him. <laughs> and and uh, are we seeing that history repeat itself? I don't know. I'm not saying it is. I have no, you know, that's not my take. That's just what I've heard on the grapevine. Many, some, some people are saying this. She has no jump right now. Many though. are saying this. Not necessarily me oh. or Patrick. That Ooh. stove is so hot right now, Nick. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh, great tech. Oh. Great coverage, though. McLeod Next one step levels. ahead. There's levels, Nick. McLeod's saying, you're not on my level, McLeod, Goody. McLeod is on a higher one right now. You can't just mash recoveries in me. I'm freaking <laughs> cracked. I'm McLeod. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Friendship oh. is magic right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nearly reached the jump out. McLeod oh, army. Out. Just thirsty for blood right here. Yeah. Goody back against the wall. And uh, Goody needs this. I'm going to say it. Okay. Oh, oh imagine! Wow! Instead of a nair. If that was a nair, it's over. Yeah. 
one more chance here for Goody Gaming to take it to a game five. And Goody, one of the most clutch players in Australian history. Uh, great recoveries, great defense. Okay, gets out of the dare, and that's not just... enough to get around the cloud. Yeah. Fucking go, South Australia. My God, that was just a statement from a cloud. She played unreal. And Goody saying, how many times? He knows, the thing about these kinds of sets is he knows they're so winnable. He knows they're, uh, you know, they're his to take if he wants. And um, they can feel so bad, but he really has to pick himself up from this. Uh, the, thing is, the thing about a tournament like this, as I see it, most likely everyone but Josh is going to end up in losers at some point. Yeah. But like he has to realize it didn't matter that much. Yeah, you're going to have to. He wants the free swing at Josh. Yeah. Because he can take sets. He took a set this past week mm -hmm. at a local. But and it does hurt. Yeah, all it means, if he wants to get there, he's going to have to play a couple extra guys. You he's going to have to play a little better. He's no I'll say it. He's no stranger, no, he's, <laughs> no stranger to playing a little better, playing a couple guys. Yeah, good he's right to bracket. McLeod, though, a little, a level above that set. Yeah, McLeod is sitting pretty in the winners' finals right now. Absolutely on cloud sitting, nine. Sitting very pretty, I'll say. It. Yeah, with, the, with the Syndicate's uh, dress. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Cindy made that dress? I think so. I, I was saying, that, like, uh, when I saw her work in, I was like, wow, that is a gorgeous dress. It's and, so and, <laughs> classically 19... I don't know, like, uh, Catherine Hepburn. Yeah, style, you know, elegant. Yeah, I was like, wow, that is gorgeous. I was sitting with Josh, and he was like, yeah, it's giving Kurt. And then I was like, hmm. and he's like, no, but like in a good way. And I was Kurtin? like, yeah. Josh always knows what to say, man. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he was like, she's serving curtain right now, and I'm like, that's yeah, she's serving drapes. <laughs> but he was like, no, that's a good thing, and I'm like, okay. But maybe it was made out of a curtain. Because reduce, reuse, recycle, baby. I mean, it was curtains for winning. Uh, good. Blah, 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 blah. You, 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 blah, 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 blah. You guys go. And you might thing. say it, it was curtains for uh, goodies, winner side dragon. You guys already know what time it is. Look, I've, I got a cheer for my boy Decker. You know, Vic, representative, I believe. Him and Goody, the last two. But, uh, the last bastions of uh, the scourge of Vic on our soil. Last bastions of Victorian melee. Um, but this is a bit of a classic. I feel like these guys have played um, at several majors because they always make it kind of far. Um, they had a, an absolute classic set at one of the BAMs. Classic KP Kaiser phone recording. Do you remember that down air? The down air yeah. that stopped the world. The down air that shocked the nation. Um, insane. And um, look, here they are again, all these years later. Uh, notably, though, Ruben is warming up the Captain Falcon. Whoa, that's actually crazy. Yeah, so this is a relatively new last couple of years uh, tournament pick for Ruben. It initially developed to stop the scourge that is um, Muscat, the South Australian Slayer. But, uh, the Muscat Peach, if I remember Yes. Peach, Sam is awful matchup. Get a Captain Falcon involved, you have a much better time. But now it's kind of becoming more of a mainstay. Uh, he was telling me uh, against Cheeks and Peaches. But um, looking like he's also doing the same versus the Mafia. The thing about Dekar is his defense isn't good enough that he won't just blow up yeah. from a Captain Falcon. And yeah, his big reads are going to net him a lot more. As Fal oh, oh Ruben, of big you idiot! <laughs> Oh, oh, the Nang Nang took damage off that one. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my And Decker with the big read there. Let's yeah. be honest, he just knew. Oh, my <laughs> Christ. Okay. Yeah, okay. Still gets the first stop. That is what you get as Captain Falcon in this matchup. You get a pretty free edge guard. Yep, you get a free edge guard. Ooh. You get uh, big combos. You get big offstage situations. You also get a little comboed yourself sometimes. Ooh, gets the tech chase. Oh, Reads the tech in place. Stomp me. Looking like none right now. Oh. Oh, that hurts. That could have been up there. I mean, up throw D. He's going to do the thing. It looks like he's going to set up for that. He rolls to the edge of the platform. Drops That's through. The yeah. Oh, my. Oh, oh no. Tournament winner and F-Smash. That's not what you want to 
see. But yeah, a little bit of slop from both players on this stuff. And uh, honestly, it's going to be big who can come out of it unscathed. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering how big this um, non edge cancel is going to be in Ruben's uh, edge guard game. It seems like he's, he's gone for like four times already in the first three stocks. I kind of think it's just a swaggy way to grab the ledge. Yeah. Uh, on Battlefield. <laughs> Yeah, it is good. It does cover like any kind of like double jump or weird high recovery, but yeah. then he still grabbed the ledge. But it looks like he's acting after it immediately. Like he's, um, you know, foregoing grabbing the ledge to double jump. And, jump and, jump. and every time Ruben has hit Decker with a back air, Decker has not succeeded. Back air to grab looking like the best combo in the game right now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Simply unstoppable. Knows when to grab it between the side piece. Get around the block. No way! Oh! And okay. yep, down the drain. Great coverage. It's still a close game here. This could be it. Down air. Yep. Shout out to Ken. They're really going blow for blow. Just two players with not a whole lot of defense. Just swing it. Oh, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that that didn't trade. Oh, dangerous here. Oh, gets the up and goes the other way. Oh, no. Oh, and no. The DI mix up on the knee as well. Was expecting another up air. Which just sends him all the way to the blast zone for that game one. Yeah, you have to, uh, for those at home, you can actually hold the eye down on the way. And as you see the knee come out, you have time to react to the knee. Yep. Uh, because the knee has so much hit lag, and the eye up and in. Yeah, like you can change your DI during the uh, yeah. hit lag. We get launched. In. That's the R motto. Uh, yeah. So the SA Nick for like one week in 2020. <laughs> when I was trying to be duck. Nice. Okay, reaction. Up there. Stop. Misses. Yeah. That's a tough one there. He's trying to like... Oh, I hate to get clipped by that damn He's trying to like time it so that he can jump and then react to the tech with a drift and get a guaranteed stomp, but it's uh, going be tough. Yeah, is that real? I, Do I you don't have that know. Much drift? It's like... On Captain Falcon, I'm not sure that this is all so fast that I'm not sure you can drift enough. No jump, by the way. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Clean lead here for Dave. Yeah, Decker definitely one of the premier purple sword users <laughs> in Australia. Maybe the world. He's up there. Should be a clean grab legend to knee here. Yep. It's just such a good setup. Like, what can you do? Yeah, you gotta like try and you have to make it as ambiguous as possible whether you're landing on stage or not, and like hope that the falcon like bites too early and gets up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Smash sending absolutely nowhere, but. By the way, you know what this combination of characters and uh, players reminds me of? What's that? Uh, Decker vs. Psych. Oh yeah, tell me about the that. Gr the green falcon. Yeah. Decker. Maybe the greatest reverse force dog in Australian history yeah. uh, happens between those two. At a damn eight, I believe. Oh, I remember that. Great tournament. Uh, I was there. Nice. <laughs> How'd you do? Pretty good. Nice, nice, nice. Uh oh. Ooh. This is uh, like we're simply going to game three. How much might, more needs to be said? To see the yeah, that was pretty brutal. The last no tournament. That's what they're calling it. So true, Agro Sheik. Until now, until uh, Big Sheik's fall. Yeah, this is the best one since Bam Eight. This has been a oh whoa. This has been a pretty dope tournament. Um, the guy who has only ever been with Bam 8. <laughs> Getting real Bam 8 vibes in this <laughs> tournament. <laughs> Dude, the way that they got a double elimination bracket. Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah, we do indeed get to see the Samus on Dreamland. This, on paper, is a pretty brutal counter pick. Yeah, I think Mars still wins, but it's so hard. Yeah, it's his worst stage along with just a character that is seemingly impossible to kill. Samus is going to get so much mileage off of just like living to 180. Uh, Dekar's super good at just like swatting away Samus. Dekar really good at the slow matchups in this game. And the fast ones. <laughs> <laughs> the medium ones? Uh, Sheik? Not so much. A little bit of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, like, look at this, 180, and ooh, so greedy. I guess, I was thinking, like, wiggle out air dodge, maybe, but, like, you know, it was kind of a tough spot for Ruben. But, yeah, going for that Nair, ends up trading with the up -hill. You know what I never see Ruben do? What's that? You know how Samus is sometimes with this mash bomb? Just mash it. Mash what? Mash bomb. Yeah, right? Especially coming down to, like... It's kind of good. The Elton. Yeah. Oh, I feel like... I'm trying to think. I think Tid. A little bit Tid was playing on stream against maybe XP. Was doing it a lot and getting a lot of mileage out of it. Where uh, XP would go to shock him and simply hit a bomb. Yeah. And like you can choose whether or not you want to like interact and like get popped up by the bomb or just like forego it and then fall down. And there's a, there's a couple of mix-ups. Whereas Ruben just kind of comes down to you with a move and praise. Yeah, very fundamental there. Ooh, big tips. I think down smash would have killed that. Yeah, but, uh, interesting. I don't blame Deckard when I'm seeing it. Yeah. Yeah, Deckard really wants to get this stuff first. You don't want to let Sam live forever. Yeah, he's... Up tilt is his best friend right now, and he is... Uh, oh my! Oh, and Ruben is going to make it back. Yep. Again, so like, look at this. If Ruben gets anything, I was gonna it's say if Ruben gets anything off that stock, then that's just like, yeah, yeah, insane. It's just so annoying to hit Samus away at like 170 percent and have to wait. Yeah, because like, it's uh, the classic, uh, classic math dilemma is nothing combos into anything. Yeah. When your opponent is that high, but also your moves don't have enough kill power to actually kill. Buff right is many of you it. Yeah. Buff the top is super. Misses that CC, and he's getting swapped it out. I feel like if you miss one CC, it can often snowball really badly in this game. Yeah. Especially in this matchup. Yeah. You're just getting swatted out of the air now. It's one of Samus' strongest tools, and then once you're in there, you're getting like tipper forwarded, and yeah. it's a whole thing. You never want to be around that. Oh my. And Ruben with a high success rate on uh, Charge Shot right now. Watch grabs, knowing Dekka would shield after that F smash attempt. That's crazy that Dekka held shield all through a wave dash forward grab of Samus. Yeah. It can be hard to be thinking about the next thing. Like, I'm going to shield and what am I going to do next? And then I don't really react to what's going on. Oh! Oh, oh no. Through the stage. Ruben needed that stuff. He needed yeah. to cling onto it. Because it's scary now. Okay. Flames away from an F smash there. Oh, it did, got popped up by the fair again. Okay. Ooh, wrong way. Uh, somehow, they're making it back. And so much mileage here. Oh my god, goes for it all. And oh. once again, don't jump. Popped up. Oh! oh! Finds him sneaking down towards the ledge and says, hey, let me help you get there a little faster. <laughs> Ruben was holding him a deal life. Yeah. Mash jump, mash DI up and in. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> just, just end it. That's actually a deck out classic, just holding him a deal life, mashing jump. So. Yep. Poetic justice. Yeah, the, the, the best opponents truly really let you fly the highest. Exactly. <laughs> Deck are really good about using the IASA frame from the back air to get a jump there out. Because um, there's like a. Do you know people just land there once again? Catches the jump? Yeah. Ruben's getting slaughtered for uh, jumping out of his zone. Yeah, that, that's. Once insane. again, a Ruben he... classic. Getting uh, thrown and instantly trying to kind of wave land on a platform while we get something out. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, how did he find that? Just so tricky. Because he's baiting up tilt, like, when he's standing on the top platform the whole time, and so Ruben's trying to avoid it horizontally, not 
remembering that, hey, you kind of have a move that hits a little sideways. And Gekka has caught down to the jump. Oh, no. Ruben needs to relax and, like, think when he's getting hit. Because he oh. doesn't need to let Gekka get, like, seven hits on the floor now. That could have been so brutal for Ruben as well. Ooh, that's a crazy well spaced back air. Yeah, that's Finds huge. it in between the bear hits. Run up so risky for Bay. Run up counter during his invincibility. <laughs> it's a choice. Yeah, it's a running turn. True. Don't question the game. Oh. I really think Ruben, uh, he's destined to go to game five here, though. I think he's like such a. This, this whole tournament has been game five up to game five. Yeah, a 3 1 would. Oh my god, he is dead. 3-1 would be really uh, not symbolic of the man that Ruben is in the tournament run that he's had so far. He's so good at like finding some bullshit kill up fast as well. There's a charge shot coming. Like down smash and zero into like some random back air and all of a sudden oh, you're dead. Dodged it. And Dekar is afraid. Down for up tilt on the DI in. Oh my god. And oh, lazy boy? Yeah. Okay, no lazy boy. That's uh that's what got him down it in that classic clip, if you remember. <laughs> True, actually, he's learned. <laughs> One bit. Yep, Dekka DIing in on these down throws. Ooh, insane spacing. Gets a nair somehow. Yeah, Ruben really disciplined about knowing the exact spacing that you can reach with a quarter on the left. Yeah. Never getting clipped. Yes. And the Nang Gang is coming alive behind yeah, us. Yeah, they were a little quiet. Oh no. They're eating up every little bit of extra damage. So the counter pick situation to me. Yeah. There's, uh, there's FD, but then Falcon pretty good on FD. Yeah, I it's off. I think, yeah. Dave typically not the FD guy, so maybe he just forgoes it anyway. Wait a minute, is he even gonna have a counter pick? I can't Oh no it. back here? This would be insanely clutch. I just feel like he's gonna find a tip somehow. Yeah, it's it's going to last stock. You know it. Okay. Oh, never mind. He's reaching. He felt like a dude. Oh. Yep. Oh, no. oh weak back in there. Yeah. Okay. There it is. He really it baits him in there with the. Uh... Yeah, we are kind of fools, but at the same time, no. Yeah, at the same time, we were right all along. Yeah. Yep. How about that? Yes. Oh. We're gonna have to. We're gonna stadium. Okay. Samus is kind of good on stadium. Yeah, Samus got the the crazy missile trick. Stadium. And this is where I went down. The reverse floor stuff. You know, one of my first uh, knowledge gaps, one of my first knowledge checks in melee was I played um, another classic Samus player. Um, Noxus. Yep. And I went to game three in a best of three as a, as a pretty green player, and I'm thinking, okay, here we go. He goes to Pokemon Stadium, and he just shot missiles at me the whole time. <laughs> and I didn't know what to do. And I was like, I didn't even know Samus could do that. I would have I not got, you know, would have banned this stage. And uh, I got home. Yeah, it's one of the first things you learn as a Samus is like spamming the fuck out of missiles on Stadium. Yeah. It's cool. Looks like it would be kind of good against Mars. Yeah, Nang needed to close that one out. <laughs> we got the foot stamping in the crowd right now. We got a stampede happening in the Nang Gang. Oh, oh insane drift. So oh. That only works if you know they're going to commit to something super committal like an F smash. Yeah. Oh, it just runs up an F smash as it can. Purple. Good attack. Oh, he has to tech that. Yeah. It's really hard to tech the purple sword, actually. It has uh, a lot of hit lag. Yeah, I was going to say the hit lag makes it tough. You know you can't off detect the purple sword full charge? Because cool. of the hit lag? Because of uh, your ECB reset, it's like mid hit lag. Oh, true. Yeah. Same with the Falcon E. Like some characters can, I think Puff can. Oh, Gatch the jump again, he's so good at swatting out. Oh, big call out, but doesn't. Yeah, the big jump reads uh, on the recovery with uh, weak forward air have been getting so much mileage for Dave. Oh, and he's just shielding. He's weaving in between hits, and Dave finally commits to something big. Something laggy, and he's in trouble. Oh, oh that's the Dave. The Dave is, he's slightly out of range. You think he can't grab you, then he slowly walks forward and grabs you. 
He has a knee. It's all right. It's okay. He burns the jump early. And oh. No. Smart. Big reaction. Ruben. He's going to make it back, Ruben. No, oh, no. no, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> Close, <laughs> but. going to make it. Oh, my God. Imagine. Oh, my God. Reacts. Yeah, he's got a ledge. No jump. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Gave him the tip of a free. Doesn't give him a chance to tech. And the crowd's going absolutely bonkers right now. As close as it can get right now. Okay. Okay. Great up air. Look at like Wizzy right now. Grab. Oh, Wizzy! Okay, he goes for the knee straight away. I thought it was an up air. Yeah, and you know Deco was holding oh. in. And that is tragic yeah, for Victoria right now. Doesn't drift back enough after the nair. But this is not Deco's first rodeo. Oh, He's the been side in this situation B. so many times. He saved the side back. B for the very end. Oh, wait <laughs> no a minute. Way. Oh, no grab. grab. Okay. He gets it there. Oh, oh he doesn't react. That's it all right there. Okay. Oh, no jump. Didn't know. <laughs> oh, no. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Ow. <laughs> oh, so close, but down here coming down. Uh, Falcon kick. The pullback. Okay, oh, that no might jump. be it. No jump. Yep, back it. Oh, oh, he's on. Get up attack. Oh, my God. If Deckard brings this back somehow. Oh my. Okay. Oh my god. No way. This is the sweet spot. That's the No top. way. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Don't do not get oh, down throw tags. <laughs> oh no. Okay, up tilt. Forward air. Oh, oh spacing! Oh what? What? <laughs> what? You are kidding me! Oh, okay, that's, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's oh, it. Oh he lives! He's gonna back air. He's gonna back air. Okay! Man, no way! Oh, mess it all, but no punish. Grab, it's gotta be it. That's a knee. No! Knee? Not something. Knee. Has to be a knee. Oh! Has to hit though. You're kidding, no jump. Oh, he goes for it. <laughs> oh, ah! no, Dave. Oh, no! <laughs> Let's go, Nang. Hey, 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 hey. Nang gang. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Classic! Jacka, zero yobs. <laughs> no yobs. Oh my god, what is there to say? Both players wanted to lose so bad. Nangs has been on an absolute knife edge since like top 32, top 24. He's uh, the clutched up. The All the way to top six. The universe is part of the Nang Gang. Top four, top even. Four. Top four. Oh my god, my voice is uh, a little shicey right now. A drink would really go a long way. I wish I didn't do have water Someone is going to buy us a drink, surely. Surely. The water. Classic Kaya Groof. Thought it was Loser Semis. <laughs> I thought uh, Gwini had already played his Loser's Quarters match. My bad, game. He's still chilling out here with uh. The Yo, kid. this is scary for Goody. Oh yeah, we got the legend. We've said all we can say about Mason, but somehow there's still so much more to be said. I think he's gonna say it all himself. Yeah, Which with his freaking hand off. Oh, my God, <clears throat> I'm really that washed. I really only have one yell in me before I'm just like coming for the rest of the commentary block. Oh yeah. Goody, if he doesn't win this set, uh, I don't want to talk to him tonight. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'll say it. I cannot imagine a more heartbreaking scenario. And Mason, I can't even really win. As a South Australian, I kind of just want to see a Mason up. Oh, let's just wait in. Okay, we're in game and we're wobbling and we're looking. <laughs> this is going to come down a lot to matchup experience. Is Goody good at killing Nana? <laughs> Uh, my take on what I think is going to happen is I think Woody is just, on, on his day, is fast enough to just simply make it work. I think he can just overpower the ice climbers with his raw speed. Maybe, but I think knowledge is such an important factor, and Woody doesn't always love writing that play against the uh, quote unquote boring characters. This is kind of a nightmare matchup for Goody, now that I think about it. Very scary. Maybe a bit of a worst case scenario. But, and you cannot wave shine combo ICs. Yeah, you gotta do the uh, side me if anything. Yeah, that's classic. 
Goody's on the board. And he's breathing a side relief already, I feel like. Getting ahead is so good. You never want to be behind against this character because they can just tack it on so quickly. Yeah. I mean, this is such a flop saving matchup. Truthfully, even though it's so knowledge based, and even though, like, Mason knows so much about the matchup, Fox is really bullshit against Mason. Like, you can kill Nana so easily. The thing about Mason though is, I was just gonna say, he will squeeze every last down smash, sorry, crouch cancel percentage that he can out of his characters. He is in the shower, pouring water into the shampoo bottle to get the last little bits. <laughs> exactly. So, and uh, oftentimes he'll be like, go on, hit me, what are you gonna do? You hit one of my guys and crouch cancel, oh, thank you. Yeah, Nan's uh, like a multi-character monster and it reflects in his fundamentals. Like, he's not just a gimmick guy. By any stretch. He's been really fucking good with like Bob, Zelda, yep. Falco, Falcon, Bob. He just knows the game. Got yeah. a, got a sense for it, got a feel for it. <laughs> Out of the carpet. Okay. And this could be a kill. Oh, that feel like a big round, but I have just hit so fucking hard. Okay. Well, we didn't get the trick. Grabs the ledge and the other one kind of covers the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Just, just let it rip with the F match. Oh my god, he's stuck in between them. Is he gonna get the. Oh! <laughs> uh, yo! So, something that has been recently innovated in the IC's meta is, I believe, the cook hold. Which is the, the cuck hold? <laughs> the cook hold, where you um, are facing away from the ledge, but then you can do a crazy kind of... Oh, edge cast the recovery! Sorry. <laughs> do a crazy kind of, like, turn around, like, handoff thing to get facing towards the ledge, and then you can do your classic kind of handoff business. Also, don't count out the sub here. The Sobo did some crazy work against M. Yep. I mean, just throws it away there. But uh, you can sometimes go to risk it a bit soon. Once again, the Sobo is truly the master of the uh, the one kick. Yeah. I feel like he's gonna kick. Yeah, he oh, kicked. he got so he kicked. kicked. <laughs> oh, no jump. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared for South Australia. <laughs> Oh. He's hungry about right now. Okay. This is so scary, man. Oh, let's fucking go! He didn't snap to the ledge. Where are your notches, Goody? He didn't snap, he just went straight in. He's stuck in the end leg of the Firefox. I'm shocked Mason went for it. I'm shocked to have his hit even there. I'm in shock. I'm in shock. <laughs> but Mason isn't. He looks very like. It's zen. very, yeah, very zen, very yeah. cognizant of what just happened. I love, I love a Mason run like this, actually. I can't believe it. This is, this is so <laughs> sick. This is actually like, oh. I, when I played him like a month ago, I was like, this guy, I don't know, man. Like, people aren't yeah, ready for yeah. nice climbers like this. <laughs> like, he plays like, actually, good ass melee. Like, yeah. when he's, um, Actually looking at the screen and like ready to like, you yeah. know, just react to stuff. You're just like, holy fuck, he's actually like got the most insane callouts. Yeah. Deckard vibe, honestly. But Deckard, but he'll, you're in a death you clean. Yeah, With right. With an inescapable death cover. <laughs> he's living somehow. With the insane roll the eye. <laughs> Oh my god. He's hitting him with a crazy <laughs> Dacus right now. Oh! Shine! Oh, he's dead. Oh, and Goody doesn't quite kill the Nana. Again. Oh, Goody looking a little upset that I had to finish Nana off right now. It's a bad sign! Yeah, the, the belay is really breaking his brain right here with the uh, invincibility. Yeah. And the he's gonna watch Fiction's Guide. Breaking the Ice Breaking climbing. the Ice <laughs> Episode 2, probably. Oh, great recovery. Yep. Time to switch. Alright, Nana didn't do any bullshit. Uh, okay. Not in range. Slash maybe not actually. I can really see it. Should he do it a lot better this game? Even though he's not that clean, really Nana, he's going real fast. He's going popo. Uh, solo. Yeah. I feel like if you're Mason and he wanted to win this set, then game one was absolutely crucial. This 
good. He's only going to heat up as the set goes, learn more. I don't know. Maybe the reason he's playing. <laughs> He'll learn too. Very true. He's been around for a while. His melee IQ is quite high. Infinite. Near infinite. infinite. Nearing 100. <laughs> At least 100. Isn't 100 literal average? <laughs> yeah. That's what I was like when the, I have a 100 IQ. But... Oh! oh wow. what? Banana is crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> they like did one jab each on like, these things and then re -grab. Unreal. This match is over. Oh my god, I thought he was at two stops. He's at three, and... I don't know. Mason's the kind of guy to run off the stage if he knows the match is over. Yeah, I'm gonna need Mason not to pick Zelda or anything with set. I'll oh, absolutely not. <laughs> I think the ICs uh, might be the play. Zelda is a good counter pick into Luigi. <laughs> and basically nothing else. Maybe Jigglypuff. On certain stages. Yeah. But anyway, there we go. And it's one more. And Goody looks strong, honestly, on Greenland. Yep, yep. So there are two big counter picks in Mason's favor here. There's, there's FD, which is a given. You cannot get away from the items on the stage. It's Fox. fucking scary. Yep. And then after that, I don't know. Fog, maybe. Stadium, maybe. Fuck it. Nana. Yeah, Nana kind of trolled that. Oh, and he hits the edge. If you ever hit the stage, it's kind of good. Yeah, oh, this is, this is really scary right now. Oh, okay. That's fine. He gives him side. Side, uh, side beam against the angle. <laughs> okay. okay. Look at, oh, he had that too. Right now, you gotta watch out for dash attack, you gotta watch out for jab, smash attack. Oh, it's so scary. Good, he's heating up so much. Yeah. Mason needs a big grab. You cannot let Goody cook, you gotta put out the fire instantly with your ice blocks. Okay, this is the tech chase, that's a big read there. Double back in, it's so hard. He just oh, died off it, man. So hard with the down smash coverage. Deco vibes, honestly, when he charges the metal sword and then he. Uh, Oh! Ah, uh, forgive me for this. He needs to get his head back in the game. Yeah, sorry, I was just <coughs> also distracted by J. Jeff. I hope Nick breaks your arm next. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know what J. Jeff said to deserve that, but hey. J. J. Jeff is a nice guy. I would never break J. Jeff's arm. <laughs> What am I, a monster? Whoa! Teleported Nana back to the stage. Okay. Really, really good CC grab there. Yeah. Again, he's oh, just misses it, and okay. honestly, just dead. Wow. Let's go, Grab! Mission complete! Goody giving me a look right there. By cheering for my boy. <laughs> yeah, Goody! <laughs> he gave me a. Uh, honestly, he looked bemused. I, I got it. <laughs> That was really, that was so hoarse. <laughs> he looks so that was confused when I when I said, let's go Grim. He, probably, looked, he probably doesn't even know that Mason astonished. used to go by Grim Tuesday. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's why he's like, well, who are you cheering for? <laughs> oh my god, the belay frames. Oh, that sucks. Cinderella run. I can't uh, believe I've cheered for Grim and Goody's going to hate me forever and he's going to win. <laughs> yeah, you've really bet it all. <laughs> You are not playing both sides. No, I'm playing one side right now, and it's South fucking Australia. It waits this time, but... Oh, so smart from Nana. Just... Yeah, Nana just... I feel like she could have got the ledge there, but she's trying to take it to her death. Great CC. Gotta be a big Sopo hit from, from Jason, and he has it in him. This is one or two deep smashes. Oh, the runs up. Draw does it. Alright. Oh, and Nana, come back! <laughs> oh my god. Get your fucking head in the game, Nana! Nana's on some flipping flip about shit right now. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's on one. <laughs> she's had 16 yards. 
what, what Pogo is this <laughs> Okay, back here, that'll do it. Uh, and Grim is absolutely still in this. Wow. This two stops the two. From the... The tech by Death, how good is that? From the momentum of play, it does not feel like a two stock to two game. Oh shit, scary! But this is very nearly... Oh! oh! Catches him, tunnel visioning in on the Nana, straight oh, in, has gotten Goody that, so much that, mileage. Oh! The grim. oh. He's so good on the recovery. It feels like it should be a done deal with Whoa. Pogo off stage, but it makes it so tricky and tried to... So smart! Yup. <laughs> Alright, no invisible ceiling glitching your way out of that one. He's on his last two stocks. Of, uh, the tournament, yeah. What? Oh! Nana! <laughs> oh, he, no! did, he didn't do it, he didn't Finish do it! Finish him! And she's gone! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, did he give... No way he just gave that up on purpose. That hurts. That's so possible as Pogo and FD, but... Man, that does hurt. That is tough. Well played, Goody. Too strong in the end. And a good showing by Mason. Taking game one in a crazy fashion. And good, up honestly, great showing all tournaments. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Goody is having to run the gauntlet as well of uh, uncomfortable floaty matchups today. Yeah, yeah. I mean, instead Peach, of Peach, Samus, Icy, fuck it. Instead of the, the the hometown classic, you know, winners semi is Goody versus Dekar. It's different here. He's gonna now fight against not only Ruben, but the rest of the Nang gang in the crowd. Exactly. If he, you know, looks quizzically at SA Nick cheering against him, then he's got another thing coming. <laughs> he's about to be looking real quizzical. <laughs> he's about to be like, oh? <laughs> and McLeod, Josh. McLeod, definitely one of the most likely Australians to take Josh to the limit. Uh, McLeod cracked at the Fox matchup. Cracked at the game. Cracked at putting hitboxes out. Go Goody's mom is the actual Goody's mom. It is, <laughs> it is so awesome. Um, yeah, McLeod and Josh Mann have a bit of a, a storied history. And by that I mean... Josh has always kind of historically shat on the bar. Yes, that is, that is the story. And that is the history. But, um, I told you the story. But this is new McLeod we're seeing. McLeod kind of well, rocked Goody's shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, he did own Goody. Yeah. Um, and so, and, I don't know, I just have a feeling that if McLeod ever wants to take a swing at Josh, this is the time. Honestly, Josh, I don't think he's been holding up that much. McLeod, always. I don't know that he's given these points, you know, the, treating them as a true threat. Yeah, and, um, but he also did win P plus over the greatest Australian P plus player to ever touch a controller. Some would say Josh is the greatest no. Australian P plus player to ever touch a controller. The most decorated, maybe. Yeah. Jacob Rosen. All right, strap in, gamers. We're about to see either some crazy shit or uh, some Josh man against Peach. Uh, yeah, the, the Josh and combos kind of go crazy on the beach. Yeah, he, he really understands the character and how to just shut Peach down in neutral. I feel like a, a, a crazy proportion of his Twitter clips are against McLeod. Yeah, well, I mean, they grinded a lot. Back in yeah. The day. Oof. I. Nearly the cleanest stuff. Yeah. Just an unreal. Oof. An unreal dash back. Not yeah. much reaction. So, one thing to watch out for. Um, You'll notice when Josh played against the Lord, Josh was always ready for Power Shield down smash. Uh, because McLeod is one of the Power Shield legends. Oh! Unlucky. Uh, McLeod, um, many people are saying one of the best Power Shield down smashes in the world. Maybe the. Maybe the. Without, Ooh, without, insane DI mix up there. Grab ledge. Yeah. Without a word of hyperbole, McLeod is like the best in the world at like several things yeah. that Peach does. She's kind of like the Bobby Big Horse of Peach. Kind of. <laughs> like this insanely number one at many little things. Uh huh. You know what, like, McLeod is actually clutch as of doing is like 
going to air so that she gets like land cancel out of hit stun instead of just like holding down for ASDI down. Yes. You know what I mean? Like we'll intentionally just jump and then tank the hit and then land instantly. Yeah. So it's like not only power shielding, but also that you have to watch out for. Yeah. And she's really good at the sub float ASDI down. Bullshit. Yeah, the, the, the new thing where you can float and ASDI down at the same time. You can have it all. Except for like mobility. But McLeod is trying to be all things to all people right now. <laughs> Josh, though, kind of after that first stop, looking very dominant. Finding so many grabs in the corner as well. Nine the damage. has that armada factor of like wave dash back shielding in the corner a lot. He's dance dashing. Oh, and she lets it rip. Yeah, the nooch is looking pristine from Joshi. Yeah. And Josh trying to talk right now. McLeod not listening at all. I don't, I don't blame McLeod. Yeah. Shut Sometimes you just don't hear it. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Ooh, great grab. Uh, Josh did some of his own medicine there with that grab in the corner. She's um, noticeably opting to not call a turn up in those situations and just try to put as much spatial pressure on Josh as possible. Yeah. Again, here, not pulling a turn up. She just doesn't want it, it looks like. Ooh, so good. Some things never go out of style, and uh, forward air on shield and hit down smash is one of them. It looks like she just doesn't want turn ups. Like in between stocks, when she had the chance, you know, a lot of peaches will default to just being like, I want this in my hand, and she's just not doing it. Yeah, McLeod's trying to scrap. She's trying to float hitbox out at all times. Yeah. And McLeod is, oh, I was going to say coming back to life, but that nair. When did you just get clipped by a fox nair? Yeah. It's just, uh, your life flashes before your eyes. That move is crazy. You can just leave it out there. Someone runs into it. You just get up smashed. Or there, dash attack up air. It's all, all roads all right, lead to cringe. We're on the cool stage now. So McLeod. Okay. And Josh's still honestly very good on the stage. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. All right, McLeod needs to get a big conversion here. Josh is going to have to go off stage here. To it's going to be a nair? Uh, yep. So he can. Ooh, oh, goes high. Tries to. Like the high low. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. anti detail trend. Oh, dodges the Firefox. Insane that was good, actually. Oh. No! Oh, you gotta be hitting those. Against the top player in the freaking world. On the big stage. Oh, and trades with a weak there, there. Big kill for Josh. Yeah, and it's so hard against Josh to find another hit here. I was going to say, because once the chain grab's gone, it's like a bit of that math situation where outside of like a big strong move, yeah. like, like that's not going to kill. And then Josh gets a mix up here. Yeah, so many weak moves happening. Yeah. Okay. Still not going to kill though. What does Peach do? Like, there we go. Really good. Uh, Josh needed to like SDI out there in order to uh, escape yeah. that infinite loop. Goody was doing that. Yeah. Oh, this is a wave dash. Mid combo and it's a turnaround. That's what that's what Kai was talking about. Uh, going to the air and taking the hit. Yeah. But she just dies there. Josh having no fear to just like up air Peach. Yeah. I feel like it's scary. There's like always gonna be a Nera when I'm trying to do it. Yeah. But uh, Josh just like has a feeling for when there's not going to be a hit like that. She's getting so unlucky on these reverse aerials on the edge guards. Just a tiny bit late. Oh, great yeah. Yeah, Great man. awareness to get the nair and alpha down Yeah, snuck it in. Dodged. And dodged again. And oh Josh is like one of the best players at accidentally tournament winning and not getting punished. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's magical. Ooh. You know who's also good at that is uh, s -Pad. Oh, no tech from Josh. You expect Josh to hit those techs. Yeah. I'm um, kind of shocked you This is uh, one grab away from being an even game. I mean, one grab, but at zero, it's hard. Yeah. You only really get a down smash at zero. Yep. The cloud needs, like... Yeah, right tech. There's one thing that um, is kind of brutal is right there. That crouch cancel um, counterintuitively is actually really good against Peach. A lot of the wisdom uh, is you don't want to hold down against Peach. Yeah, Peach has got away with that for a long time. Yeah, but they started realizing as long as they're not down smashing, the rest of their moves work just the same. Oh no! Oh, 
Oh, that's such a heartbreak. You're getting a down throw out there against Fox. That's like a yeah. that's a literal 80% drop. Yeah, that's a big swing and no jump here. It tries that's, to read an air dodge. That was really dumb. <laughs> <from Josh. laughs> Guess one more grab here into a forward throw. Oh, okay, snipe. Yeah, go on. snipe. And it's just gonna regret that like hail mary up there. Oh, nah, gets the float there. I so feel tough. Like, I feel like you gotta get out of there. I mean, the fucked and baited is the thing, but at the same time, it's it's a mix up. But yeah. I don't know the true the true percentage range for when it's true and when it's not. But some melee knowers do know it, and these two are definitely melee knowers. Also, Josh has been missing the tech on downside a lot. I feel like uh, McLeod could be more aware of that. Maybe yeah. a jab reset. I don't know if that's good as good. Yeah, uh, interesting. But it's surprising, because I expect Josh to hit, hit like every tech in those situations. Like yeah. his, his little micro defense is usually very good. Oh, just drift straight in, no mix up. Press the empty land into something, but Josh is on top of it. And yeah, there it is. Clean first stuff from the Big start. Let's see if she can uh, make use of Peach's tanking capabilities here. Tries to go for the PS. Oh, the, there it is. There it is. Jumping, jumping into a shine is so good. It's and Josh is like so aware as well of uh, when McLeod's going to power shit down smash. So he'll yeah. do the latest possible aerial. <laughs> and that's just a neutral game call out. Yeah. It's saying, I'm dashing back, actually, like. High risk. Don't try to overshoot me, I'm coming out with Dump Smash. Yeah, huge risk but huge reward on that on Smash. It's not risky if you know. <laughs> Does he know? Yes. The eye out. Oh, raw grab there on the Nair. Moth S with that uh, dash S grab. Yeah, right? Doing slight DI here to try to mix her up. Uh. Yeah, that is interesting. Okay. I mean, I, yeah. Seems like Josh has a read on some of McLeod's movement patterns. Oh, whoa, whoa, what a grab. Yeah. Okay. Oh, into the upper hair. Okay, guaranteed. Really smart, knowing the percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Nair is the classic there, but um, I just guess we're done. And McLeod showing off some uh, slap dashes between stops. Oh, yeah. The classic tech. <laughs> Sounds like a funny technique. Sounds like a knee slap off. Every up throw out there is connecting. It's crazy. There's gotta be a way out. Jeez. Oh my, she's SBI teleporting right out of that drill shine. Uh, just looking for like some kind of dash attack into a grab. Oh, she's playing. Oh, just so patiently outside of his zone. Ooh, gets the tech chase. That's such a hard tech oh. chase to hit. And if you miss it, sometimes it's a stop in the other direction. Let's see how she deals with the slight DI this time. I don't think the slight DI is supposed to work against Yeah, I don't think it does. I think you can grab every DI. Okay. Just dance okay. early there. Okay. Oh, it didn't. Had a good babysit, but then didn't get down in time. And this might kill. Oh, it gets okay. out this time. Oh, okay. There you go. Weak dash attack. And then there, okay. Great guy next up. She's uh she's looking poised. Yeah, like honestly one grab. One grab and then somehow actually getting the edge guard, which has been the hot part. The eleven is kinda huge actually to be honest. Getting Fox away from zero percent. And uh McLeod has missed so many power shield as well. She's yeah. gotten so many spot dodges in those spots, and that's like There it is. Oh. Love being oh, able to a pivot grab there. He's gonna DI towards the ledge, I think. Oh, she misses and doesn't get the dash back. Oh, isn't that free on Box? That's the yeah, that's Box uses. Isn't that free? Press <laughs> left. <laughs> Actually, oh. no, no. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. oh, no. And she just grabs the ledge. The cloud's on the board. Honestly, really on the ball as well with uh, that grab ledge. Yeah, I was thinking. It's like dash to ledge. Wave dash wave back. Dash, yeah. It's hard to do with Peach. Peach was, has such a shitty wave dash. Yeah, I was thinking for sure uh, she's going to try and do it down and air, but she just yeah. knew. And like the confidence to go for that too. So many players opt out of like trying to like wave dash back to ledge in clutch situations because they're afraid of missing it or getting hit. And she just does it and guarantees the win. Well, that was scary from Josh. I felt like the cloud was trying to mash out a down smash in that like non hit stun shine situation. Yeah. Oh, scary. 
Yeah, Cloud needs something. Oh, Stop getting up her one bed, please. F, yeah. That, I don't know what that, I don't know what the out is, but I know there is one. She knows something. And the cloud is like high up board. There should be an out. Yeah, she knows something we don't. Okay. Interesting. I feel like every area would have got slide off there regardless. Ooh. Bit of a missed input. Honestly, a couple of like iffy jabs and grabs coming out from the cloud. Yeah. It's a bit of a typo. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, again? Yeah. Goes for the uh, the bait forward air, and instead of dashing back, just charges in further yeah. with an air. The lasers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. It's so hard to find that, Stitch. Ooh, gets a shield out. Ooh, Catherine gets that now. I'll oh say. my. <laughs> Roll? No. Yet to see a um, parasol dash. How Man. how did you react to that? That's that's so <laughs> unbelievably hard. I don't it can't be a reaction. I think it's a read. There's no way. He was moving a hella early. Yeah, I think I think he does it against Yoshi, but I don't, that might be easier. I have no idea. I don't know. I really don't know a whole lot. I don't know much, but I know I like this damn melee. Yeah, I'm right gonna vibe based commentator, yeah. <laughs> Into nothing. It's so brutal as Peach. This is easy, but doesn't get the reversal. Love that time though. Josh is really wants Josh oh. to like whip something, and he does with Blazes. <laughs> yeah, really good angle. You know he's gonna try it, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like. Okay. Yeah, we try it again. We take those. We take those. McLeod's so in this set. If, if McLeod, if she can win on Stadium, especially, yeah, like, that's, where is this gonna go? That's huge. Yeah. It's a big lead, though. I will say. Well, you said McLeod, one of the hardest last stops to take in Australia, in the world. Yeah, let's see if it's true. Did they get us? Maybe. Oh, what? A <laughs> oh my God! Nowhere off those shines. Yeah, the CC and Josh ready with more shines. Oh, that's a big whiff. Great, great drift out of that after the edge. Neither of them are really giving the other one an inch here. They're just waiting. Ooh, I'm shocked that dead and left gets back on the bad block. Ooh, and Josh back. Oh. catching the dash attack attempt with that intercepting there. Yeah. And that's classic. That's just what's all played by Josh. Played by Josh. Yeah, that's why. That's why he's one of the greats. One of the one of the best to ever do it. He's up there. Up but in the top, at, um, something, something. It's not the last you've seen of McLeod. She's going to be waiting for her next opponent in the loser's finals. Yeah. Uh, the winner of, I believe, Goody and Nax, who are coming up next. This is going to be such a treat. I rarely get to see Goody in these matchups. Mm. And uh, honestly, I don't know whether he's as good against the Samus or a Peach. I feel like they played like a BAM or something like that, and I feel like it was just kind of the Goody show. I feel like everyone was like looking forward to a big Ruben kind of upset, and I think Goody just, just got it done. Got can it I, done. Can I cheer for Ruben real quick? And Goody expected that one. Yeah, he knew. I think he probably just thinks you hate him specifically at this point. He may maybe hasn't made the correlation of uh, the people you're supporting. <laughs> That would always happen back in the day. Yeah. So my son would be like, you always cheer against me, man. And I'm like, well, I was cheering for Marcus. And I was cheering for, like, Decker. Yeah, like, they're <laughs> just very cheerable for guys. Nothing personal, Sock. Hey, hey, hey. It's true, though. Every, every guy has their internal hierarchy of uh, who they cheer for. It is crazy. Number one in my hierarchy, Microsoft J. Always. I think SA often takes precedence to me. That's fair enough. That was help that he's from Vic. Yeah. Got a bit of a purple salmon situation, you know. Classic situation in the gravity suit. It would be crazy if the different Samus skins gave her different abilities. Yeah. Like a uh, Shulk. Dude, you get the ice beam. Yeah. <laughs> like you get the, the plasma beam. The yellow Samus, you have like, it's way heavier, like a big shield. It should be like Pikmin. 
Yeah. Purple one's heavy, yellow one's electric. You get hit by purple Samus, you just go flying. Red one uses immune to fire moves. Okay. And Goody coming out of the blocks. Yeah, cooking blocks immediately. Right yeah, I think Goody a uh, hot favorite win this. Yup. Um, based on like recent activity. Yeah, he's just he's just probably better. Yeah. But Nang is having a fucking run today. But he just doesn't really lose the people that aren't all like McLeod and maybe sometimes Sock at the end is. And as Nick. That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, we've kind of. The, the, com the commentary team of our Goody Slayers is here to yeah. provide their input. Yeah, you cannot whiff up smash on shield against that. What is that? What is that tag? What is, he, what, is, what is he trying to say? He's trying to say, uh, I like anime. You think that Marth tag is, sorry, that that tag is what Marth says when he comes? Yeah. Definitely. Ooh, Me great not. sweet spot. He did think about it. And once again, we're starting on Yoshi's. This is the Nang classic. Every set he played is starting here, and he's, he's down to scrap. No jump, and a good idea to try and get the uh, get the sun for the tether. Ouch! So bailed out by Randall there, yeah. actually. Top platform, down at great slide, slide off. off. The last hit of the up air catching in there. Crazy edge cancel, uh, Trixies. Woo oh my! <laughs> oh, you gotta know a get up attack's coming down. Roll instead of regular get up. Yeah. B smash. It's, it's nice to see a Samus who, when you up smash the back of their shield, they're ready. Yeah. Because, like, that's a, a bit of tech that Samus never really has to deal with. Crap. Yeah, right? <laughs> Great guy. You can kind of just hold them up. Whoa. Yeah. You can hold up on the top platform and get out of most of Fox's up air setup from the, yeah. from the bottom. Oh my god, catching him. Oh, oh. my. He's fallen victim Back to out? some of the classic blunders. Yeah, he's fallen right into Nang's trap. Ooh, imagine that was the right way. That's gonna get down. Oh, oh he's dead. Oh my god, Scoops. I can't believe he's dead there. Unreal. Oh no, he's getting kicked. No. Uh -oh. And Max is floundering right now. He needs a quick stock and then a quick down dash. And that's what he is. No, it's not! Oh my god. Okay. He picked the heavy version of Samus. Now he's currently living on a prayer. Running on fumes. There it is. Fumes exhausted. Clean. Having said that, though, speaking of uh, Microsoft J bringing him back into this, I think he's currently on Street Fighter Winner's Side Top 8, which is starting, you know, probably going on right now. I think it's just where it started six. Imagine if he wins. So, my plan watch, an amazing, win. <laughs> watch an amazing melee top four, and then immediately whole ass to the Street Fighter setup to uh, cheer on. My my boy Jordy. Yeah, that Play sounds good. Yeah. Delightful. I think he plays DJ in that character. I might be completely wrong. Do you know? I think he does. Yeah, he plays DJ. He oh, has yeah. an affinity with that character. He decided to play DJ. I'm pretty sure before the game came out. That's awesome. He's such a character guy. Yeah. He loves. He loves. No! Oh my! Hello. He meant to turn around and grab. That's heartbreaking, honestly. Oh, he's in trouble. It's bailed out there. Shem's up tilt is so good on him. Yeah. And he keeps missing the fossil to ledge up to shine. That's like essential tech against Fox. Yeah, it's really tricky on shield as well. Shem's up tilt. Yeah. A lot of the time, if his opponent is on the ledge, he'll wave dash back up tilt, knowing that even if they get up and shield it, uh, he's still probably looking pretty good. Stuff like that after. It's not looking good. It's just hard, man. Fox just kills you. For the for the Nang Gang members in the crowd, it, they're real playing. Did you miss the sweet spot there? I have no idea. Uh oh my, goes for it all with a timing read on the shine. Going for that is stupid. I'll say it. 
I think it's such high value and he was at such high percent that yeah. it's probably worth it to give it a go. No tether. Who are you looking a little too good right now? Yep. Just tanks the forward air. Tanks an F smash. Tanks it all. Being a little goofy little guy. Whoa. Tether. I don't know about that move. Interesting. Uh, I'm kind of keen to see a game for you right now. Such a, such, yeah, such a resolve uh, by Rip to hold his shield there. And, uh, many characters would have been invisible ceiling by that, but. Uh, Samus, not one of them. The thing about a player like Ruben. Is, uh, he all he always has the fundamentals to punish mistakes and win neutral against players who aren't like as sweet, right? Yeah. But as soon as you come up against someone who's like fucking not missing anything, uh, you really need that next level of execution. And yeah. I think Ruben doesn't really play enough to just. Uh, yeah, it, it it really is a just practice situation. Yeah. Like hitting the solo practice, hitting your uncle punch. Is just like is gonna win you sets. Like there's no two ways about it. You cannot win in this day and age without playing the game. Yeah. That was really good, my guy. Yeah. Okay. Look okay. at uh, yeah. I think a lot of the time you can do like shine as they come up from the tower. But the roll also works. The roll's scary because if they clip you with up and then you edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Luigi style. <laughs> My favorite styles. Straight in with the dash attack. Ooh. Okay, Danny really needed that. Needed that. I was gonna say Fox can live to many percent like a bastard, and oh. Samus can die at exactly oh. 100. <laughs> oh, it's so over. He's just finding the best up smashes in history. Oh, okay. Uh-uh. He's fine. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. No. Oh, the back. Field. That's a heartbreaker. He just doesn't have some of the tools that you need. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Catches the slide up there. Yeah, it's like yeah. if you're not punishing like a damn truck, then what are you really supposed to do? Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, such a tough angle to deal with. Watching Goody is kind of giving me that feeling I used to get watching Josh against like. Right, yeah. Or like Spud or something. Yeah. Like, damn, they're just simply too good. It's just a little deflating. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're just not gonna win, huh? Yeah, it's a little hopeless, right? But it's like, there's no like X Factor where yeah. it's like, oh, what if? It's kind of just like, yeah. And I think Nangs has played like, from a mentality standpoint, phenomenal today. Yeah. But uh, at the end of the day, you need the tools. Game five champion, but if he doesn't get there, then it's kind of looking rough for him. Oh, whoa. Kooky. Okay. Yeah, he keeps trying to challenge. Like, the thing about Goody is, he's. He's doing a lot of matchup no nos, but he's just fast enough yeah, that it right. doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's how I felt about him versus the Ice Climbers. Yeah. yeah. Just that's gonna do it. We'll play Goody. That's kind of how it looked the last time I saw it, I believe. Yeah. Where he's just simply so fresh and so clean. And, you know, he did face the extra guys in the loser's bracket so that he could come up against the Phenom once again. Yeah. The rematch. We kind of all knew it was happening. We've been waiting for it ever since Winner's Semis. This really is an embodiment of the unstoppable force and the immovable object. And Goody's oh, yeah. currently popping up about the character select screen at the moment for some reason. 
He's I think Ashcon pointed out that one of the characters was wrong. <laughs> oh, so embarrassing. Dude. I want a dumbass. This guy doesn't even speak Japanese. Oh, he's Naruto. Yeah, it is too. Is that what it says? Uh, uh, I mean, let me have a look. Okay. You know what's crazy? There's a character in that old called Boruto. Yeah. That's, I thought that was a meme. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's just like son. That's just like, yeah, like. I thought it was someone saying Naruto wrong, and it's just a real guy. And uh, um, Sasuke and Sakura's son is Salad. Salad? Sarada. Literally. Sarada. Oh, that is awesome. Her name is Salad. I love Salad. That's great. <laughs> Big fan. In my Salad era right now, you might even say. Your Salad days? My Salad days. Luna Dusk asked in, in chat about like the, one of my channel reward points, meaning one like equals one compliment, and he's asking, what does it mean? I'm like... Well, if you reward that tier, I will give you a compliment. What have you got to say about... Uh, well, they haven't, they haven't oh, redeemed look, it yet. He hasn't redeemed it yet. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. What, what, do you, what do you mean, Luna Dusk? If you, give me, if you reward that, I will give you one compliment, stupid. That's, that's, that's what I mean. Yeah, I'm going to give you one insult for free, <laughs> idiot. Uh. <laughs> Here's a compliment for you. Fuck you. <laughs> and Goody started off way better. Yeah, wow. Huge, explosive, 15 second stock. Goody is a loser's bracket legend. Holy crap, he's going crazy he right now. He heats up, he is so much hotter than he was. Yeah, he's boiling. And it's hard to come back after like a loss like uh, McLeod and Josh Man. Where it's like, you were just outplayed, you have a lot to think about, and all of a sudden you gotta play. Really unlucky to just slip below the stage there. Oh, she didn't trade. Okay. And Goody's gonna milk the invincibility yeah. right now. Okay, that's fine. Oh, again! Oh, no, no way. S Fat Shine? Didn't work Great out. Great tech, though. Good idea. Oh, she's, she's biting. Oh, catches her. Great up deck. He's making McLeod force the issue here. Which you kind of get the luxury of doing with the lead. Yeah. That's what I was saying before uh, in the when it said, like, Goody really needs to re like rein in his aggressive instincts against the cloud. Yeah. Because this is just such a strong position for him. Yeah. Like, oh my god, like, he just gets the running gun, play the platforms, and then when he feels like it, just bomb a crazy strong approach and catch her. Ooh, you gotta be ready for that roll there, the cloud. But it's hard, because Goody's mixing up. After getting hit by, like, Jazz, he's mixing up, like... Uh-oh. Straight up. <laughs> Ooh! Great I love grab. to see that! Great grab. Yeah, the double jump land? Yeah. And the Cloud got the murder face right now. <laughs> Honestly, the, like, mascara or whatever... Makes it so Really cool accentuates off. the murder face. Because yeah. it was already there. Yeah. <laughs> she is indeed... She's giving murder. <laughs> She's giving kill. <laughs> Where are those chants for the McLeod sets? Yeah, true. Real femme fatale. That's great, bro. Just seems like a matter of time before Goody gets his big kill. Uh-oh. Scary for Goody to miss that. Yeah. You know Josh is missing that. I believe she double jumped, yeah. Yeah. Okay, big game one for Goody. And Goody is energized right now. Needed that for the confidence. Am I going to FD? No yeah. question about it. It's the best stage. It's the best. It's the home. I really don't like the idea of Goody winning with the tag um, Hokage. Hokage? Yeah. Yeah. It feels wrong. I don't know. What does Hokage mean? Is that like... It's like the okay. chosen one? Yeah. The most anime guy? Aww. Aww, dude. I know, it's cringe. Uh, Everyone um, knows Josh is a Hokage, dude. Stop. <laughs> yeah, Goody's more like Boruto. If anything, Spud's the Hokage. Well, Hokage is like... <laughs> 
saying shadow in uh, Japanese. So it'd be like Hokage would be like fire shadow. Fire shadow? Yeah, yeah. So he, like he's the leader of the Leaf Village in Naruto, but yeah. Like literally it means fire shadow. Yeah, what's the what's the connotation of being of the Hokage? What does that mean? Oh what an edge what an edge guard! Well he's just the leader and the strongest the leader, leader of the strongest village. There. He's the yeah, the first member of the fire crew. Oh my Smash it, just smash it, it's a good move, just do it again. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Could he, could he muttering to himself? This this cannot be, this can't be happening to me. I'm the Hokage. I'm the Hokage. <laughs> uh oh. No, he's too powerful, she's too powerful. <laughs> oh my god, he's, looking, he's having too much fun. Yeah, he's looking a little, a little jolly after every stock he takes. He's like, huh, that is crazy that that just happened. Yeah, it's just called the Hokage because it's chosen by some leader of the Land of Fire. That's why. Nice. But he has Tefire right now. Yeah. Dude, did you see that clip uh, from 2006 YouTube? Like someone reposted Tefire, the original video, with the Giga Bowser? I'll send it to you. It's so funny. Yeah? Weird. Nice. Because I know the original, you know. Like... Yeah, it's like the, the two minute video with like Giga Bowser like, destroying everyone and then Roy eats like a million mushrooms. Yeah. And yeah. It's just, yeah. Yeah. I'm familiar. Hell yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, and McLeod needs this so bad. Let's go, McLeod. Maybe maybe Goody's got to channel a different anime here. Maybe like okay, Sein great. Seinfeld. <laughs> He's the Kramer? Yeah. <laughs> you never want to take Peach to FD. <laughs> you can't fly the eye. She grabbed you again? She grabbed me again! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. Oh my god. Oh, oh the that's bear trap. so big and he. And <sighs> the bear trap. He's getting. He's getting taken to 120. There's no way about it. Raymond. It's an edge guard situation. Oh, oh no! no! Oh, oh that was in there as well. Eleven. Legia. Okay. He's just, he's just pressing buttons at her as fast as he can. Oh! Okay. Gets out. Back here. Great egg. No! Ah! Okay, okay. Bad neutral get up from Goody and McLeod clutches it out. One one. McLeod needed that so badly. That is huge. He got the win on FD. Really need that. The crowd coming alive for their queen. <laughs> kind of like the in lane of. Uh, I have a, I have, that's a good point, actually. Like, is there a queen of the Mushroom Kingdom? Does Peach canonically ever become the queen? Yeah, she's the princess, right? Yeah. yeah interesting. Oh, oh god. my god! Get red. That is crazy. Yeah, I guess that, oh, there it is, the Cloud Classic, 63 damage real quick. Yeah, no queen, I'm thinking, but Cloud, she's the queen of the Mushroom Kingdom. Good choice not to just mash an air out there. Ooh, crazy. It's a drill, SDI. It's the grab. Maybe should help you. Yeah, Goody's really, really good at following the SDI behind. Uh, just at that time. Yeah, great SDI up as well. Oh, that's so scary to get hit by, and Goody better at hitting the tech than Yeah. It is good, but the good thing now if you're Goody is, like, you've already eaten the down smash. Like, another one's not going to do 50 damage to you, man. Ooh, I love that. Grab there. Great double jump land. Gonna get grabbed. Why just set a stage? Yeah, interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah, smart, actually. Yeah. Oh, I can't yeah. believe that whip. Waiting. Keeping her in the corner. Oh, he had it. Okay. Bit of a whiff from Goody there. Bit of a... Ooh. Right idea, I think. There's a world, but I feel like he had it in the notch. Maybe, maybe. 
Oh, what it's a, so scary what to a, get hit by. What an anti end there. And again, the, the double jump land grab doing wonders for Cloud. Oh, up, up oh, he just gets up. Oh, that was such a good concept as well. Oh, she's dead. Oh, two huge blunders from Cloud, and that's heartbreaking. Oh, gets to the right of Goody, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. So good for Cloud. This is everything for the set. Hold on, the Tia freaking oh. hats. And Goody is bullying through that now. It's so scary for Goody holding oh. down. That's it. Oh my god. What and a Goody clean stop. Combo. He just stole that stock away from her. He took everything she had. I know. He the flow with the double jump. And yeah, we got a fight, probably. Yeah. Or oh, DL. Fod DL. Whatever she's feeling. I feel like it's a fun. Yoshi? A, yo a Yangle? A Yangle? It's a, it's a dream Langle. Whoa, okay. Good spot to to get it through the uh, shine grab. How patient is Goody going to play this? It's going to be a narrative of uh, how it's going to play out. I was going to say, it's looking good. He's looking real patient. He's, he's on the platform. But he's also doing a lot of nares randomly. Okay. Oh, she's got a huge oh, unnecessary call out with forward ever. Who am I to say? Oh, she gets out of the stun before the round. Okay, turn around back here. Nice! Just so just good. I'm about to. Really, really good. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's scary. Yeah. Oh, just kills. Yeah, she's getting tagged at all the wrong sense without that. Yep. Reads the dash back after that point. It really is. Back here, down smash. This is the wave shine. Still Once again, the waiting for the roll with the uphill has been big money for me. Why does happen? And Goody is currently shmooving. Oh, I don't want to love anyone, but there's a shmoover in the house. Oh, no. Oh, and he's in the treehouse. Honestly, bring back the Don yeah. tag. I kind of liked it when he was in the treehouse. Now I'm scared. Oh. Oh, great recovery, and Ooh. so good to and get And she's going to get the turnaround off of this. Yup, yeah. yup. So yep. Honestly, amazing coverage on everything there. She's so good. Okay. An up tilt or something will kill oh, right now. Oh, it's so scary. And Goody, oh, oh, wrong way. Good DI from Goody to end up. Right. <laughs> the camera doesn't know what's happening. Cloud looking really unhittable. Yeah, and the, oh my so god! Good. She's queen untouchable right now. The crazy angle. Just you can't hit her! Yeah, Goody does not know how to manage this She it's played looking that pretty up in the match. So well. Oh! oh! And Goody's up beats go further! Many have said this! <laughs> A little extra juice. Oh, how? So the, good. the patience. You, uh, Goody was shielding on the platform saying, hit me, hit me. I dare you to hit me. She waited the whole time, waited for Goody to come to her, and then just power shielded it. Unreal. Yeah, you can't simply hit McLeod's shield like any other piece. Yeah. This All is... Right. Goody's going to need to do something special to avoid a game five here. Yeah, he's going to hit him for sure, but uh, ooh, not like that. It's scary. He's running into the wall. Okay. Oh, and McLeod lands. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Oh my god, just, just outside the range of that. Close. <laughs> oh, this is so scary, actually. Right, and Goody's... Goody is one of the scariest players to be off stage against, because he really smells like he's getting He is shocked, like, actually. Yeah, that was a crazy trade, by the way. Goody dared through Peach. Just sent the wrong way. Yeah. He gives a wry smile, as if to say, that was bullshit. But this is truly everything. This decides who goes on. He's and gonna you know crack what? a Josh man. This is a McLeod stage. This is not that good of a counter pick. They do call this Miranda's story. Oh, oh no my way! God. Oh my god. She's alive though. Such an insane start to this game from McLeod. Reynolds is getting so involved. So much damn. 
And Goody has, has regularly got up so many times. He's thinking, what is my controller doing? Just look it down. I don't like that. Yeah, yeah. I really hope he's got to rough start. He get boom. He has all the weapons to make a comeback here. Oh my! Her coverage is kind of insane right now. Ooh. She's doing all Oh, the no right. way! She's doing all the right things. <laughs> yeah, McLeod, born in the scrap. Okay. Born in Yoshi's. That's huge. Goody needed that so bad. Still fucking scary for Goody. Great choice to go to the platform, man. Oh, oh, he cannot get off the ledge Ooh, regular style. Get the edge cancel there. Get out. Ooh, gets to the platform with a drift. Insane. Uh, he cannot get off the ledge in a human way. Yeah, could he? Could he's not executing well enough on the ledge. Oh, oh so man, lucky amazing. with that there. Oof. Great choice to shine up smash. That just catches McLeod. Uh, one of her habits is she's always ready to like swing as soon as you touch her shield. So Shine up smash is so good against yeah. her. Oh, oh catches catches Goody going back into stage. That bad DI. And Goody's gonna dig so deep. One of the clutchest players in Australia. One of the How does he move the object? And the crowd going kind of crazy right That's now. Lit. Yeah, okay. hometown hero in the cloud. No! Oh no, he. Dude, to trust the ledge dash is insane. Oh, he's just taking so much percent off these edge guard attempts. Oh, and that's gonna be yeah. it. Yeah, well played. Yeah. Well. What an ending, a dominant game five from McLeod. She gets the two-peat over Goody. Goody in shambles. Goody in shambles. He came in hot to that set, but McLeod managed to uh, put out the fire. That is crazy. That is a rivalry that goes back and forth. It always and, delivers. And uh, it always delivers. You haven't seen the last of Goody, McLeod. Watch out for them at uh, Camp Firefox. So true, The actually. next big Australian major Think, uh, think Smash Camp, but um, but Australian. Yeah, cooler. Shout out to uh, Mikey. More athletic. But um, also, sorry, Luna Dusk, you lost all your points and will not be getting four compliments. <laughs> Instead, you get four insults for your troubles. Luna Dusk, I. I, I can't. I don't have it in me. Luna Dusk seems sweet. What about Luna Dusk? You are not a responsible. Channel points. channel points. Bit of a thrift. thrift. You bet on the wrong guy. That's pretty embarrassing. Look at us. You were wrong. I'll say it. But if I recall correctly, you did have a, a pretty cool run at Gobble, which I was at and saw. So cool, cool right. champ. Guess who redeemed a compliment? It's not Luna Dust. It's Garfield. Garfield. I have so many. How do I choose one? Garfield, I'm sure you make great dishes every day of the week. Garfield, I like that you're a Canberra TO keeping the scene going because we need people like you. Garfield, I love the way you always take responsibility for the group. You're a leader. You're a born leader. A born there TO. It there it is. So much value out of that one, honestly. Yeah. We are, uh, we're, we're cutting off the compliments though, because we got some, some real shit right now. Yeah. Going right into it. Real hours. I don't know what it is, it's grand finals. You already know. In the, in the, in the blue corner, we've got just the absolute juggernaut, Josh Man. In the red corner, the challenger. Ooh, great wake up down smash. Oh! Okay. Covers herself with an air there. Love you. Yeah. Such an idea, Scout. Yeah, Josh is just doing. I feel like when Josh plays Peach, he's just doing the band necessities. He's doing what works. Yeah. Up throw, up air. Uh, late narrow shield. Wave shine. Love you. Yeah. Just does the good things. Like a lot of melee is not just doing good things, but specifically not doing bad things. Josh very rarely does bad things against Peach. 
And he has such a great understanding of the footsies game against Peach Benigno. Yeah. Ooh. Which I think, like, that's one thing that McLeod, uh, historically she has struggled a little bit with, like, the macro neutral game. Mm. Like, the big footsies. Yeah. Know? The big idea. She's she's often the one to throw out those hitbox. Yeah. Uh, Often trying to force his grab as well. And Justin's just ready to like dash down to that one big long and find the clean opening. Yeah. Amazing in the strap, in the scrap, amazing punish game. But often when posed the question, what is melee? And, uh, doesn't really know what her answer is. Exactly. Who really knows? Oh, great shorty. Not unlike a melody. Whoa! Oh, Maybe so extension good. just to get like the last bit of percent needed for that up smash to kill. Just looking a little unstoppable right now. Yeah. McLeod looking quite moved. <laughs> looking stopped. But hey, FD, right? Yeah. I mean, that's oh, her. oh, this is her dash. I think this, this is a tiny uh, game right now. What he re there's no way he's reacting. I mean, he keeps hitting it though. <laughs> he does keep hitting it. But like, there's no way he's reacting. If there's one person that you would tell me like they're reacting and I would believe it, it's Josh. I just don't buy it. <laughs> I just think it's impossible. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Who knows what's going on? I don't know what's on. more freakish though. To imagine he, he just always is getting it right by guessing. Maybe that's more upsetting. Maybe. Who knows what's going on in either one of those? Us, we can only guess. We are on the cloud destination. It was kind of Josh destination for a little bit. Lost that. Is it going to be a game two or is it going to be a game three? The last set. And McLeod a little bit second guessing. Up, oh, hit that there. Uh, ready for like a crazy defensive action. And just didn't give it up. Yeah. And a crazy CC grab coming out. Well, it's it early again. I don't know what the percentage is. They can just keep grabbing on like neutral DI. It's really hard to follow uh, like Firefox Yeah. Really tough. Tried the power shield down smash. Yeah, I feel like halfway many there. Great choice to narrow the shield forward there, and you gotta hit those. Gets okay. out. Gets out. Okay, we're seeing a different McLeod right now. McLeod's leveled up. He's installed to be full up. Okay, she's, oh, so she's just clipped him. Hard. That's the boss recovery. And he did get out of the down air this time. And she just Whoa, rolls up. What a read! She just rolls up. That's so risky as speech. Yeah. You gotta do it sometimes for them. Oh, dead off the uptilts? Bad luck. And how did she find the best grab? Okay, but she's found something. Yeah, Josh is ready to play so safe. Don't get too impatient. Oh my god, oh, what's up, Brad? So good. Okay. I don't Josh know what that was. The, uh, reaction? Question mark? She's out. Oh. Whoa. Last minute drift to the right. Got yeah. her in the, like, the weak spot of that yeah. off smash. She's been coming down with that down air. Cloud really good at knowing when down air ends. Uh, obvious yeah. skill set to have, but like always able to sneak out one more hitbox up there. Yeah, you think you can get her while she's landing and uh, it doesn't okay. happen. Josh mashing too, so McLeod's. Yeah, I think I think Josh isn't actually slight the eyeing, he's just like. Oh, maybe he is. I was gonna say, maybe he's just mashing. Yeah, yeah probably that's just, like a product of it. Probably just stops mashing right when the throw animation comes out. Down it. Looks like uh, Amps right now. Ooh. I can I can imagine it. Ooh, yeah. He's out. Okay. Oh. Well, and clips. 
Fox is so good today. Oh, gone. But yeah, I can imagine if something that Josh has lapped out is mashing, but then stopping the mash at just the right time so that you can still do either throw. Yeah, he's a detailed jack. Yeah. Ooh, gets the... Yeah, gets the ASDI from the slope. Yeah. Once again, another yep. up there connecting. I feel like you can air out, but maybe there's some, uh, some counterplay after that anyway. Oh, no CC. Okay, this is so scary. Josh is going to play so safe and really had to earn it. Uh-oh. Down. Okay. Is he trying to cover both with dash attack? Genius idea. Still learning during the set. Ooh. Okay. Oh, it's scary to jump there. Uh-oh. Oh, she's out. Okay. 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 Oh, oh, you gotta hit those. Oh no! A roll, so genius. Power shield, gotta get out of there. Oh! oh. Okay! Okay! Oh. No! Oh. Wish she had a jump! Back here, she's alive! Oh! Please make it back. Oh! Oh! Oh, no jabs! Oh, scary Weak jump again! again. She's got uh, oh, oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Just want to die. Let it end! She's. Oh. She's gonna dash it out. Oh, oh great grab! Went for her, baby. Went for it all. This crowd cheering that he missed that. Oh, oh what a down tilt. So smart. Just like the option that nobody was expecting. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. And Josh is going sheep. Sheep. Are going Mark? Mark? Going Mark? Mark? I think this is actually the best choice. Yeah. But it does it does suck because I wanted to watch more, you know. I wanted to watch more Peach Fox, but uh. Yeah. Hey, is that good? Uh, so that's a Nick shot happening in the crowd right now. <laughs> Alright, cheese. How about a uh, skip, skip, skip? Anyone? RNG truly cannot have white mask. Yeah. He has to give it up to me. Yeah. Oh, what a recovery. Oh. Not ready for the uh, the change in the timing there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this could be, like, honestly, this could not bode well for Josh if he doesn't win this game. Yeah. Because it's like, swapping between doesn't feel that good a lot of the time. Yeah. A little That's timing thing. This. Wow, great choice with the hand. I love weak hit dash attack. Yeah. It's the uh the Milton. <laughs> Ooh, great CC. Oh I thought she was gonna grab ledge there. Yeah, she's so tricky with ledge off. Oh that's good. This is simply a kill. It's a rough matchup on the stage. Yeah, Josh is like pretty good at off. Yeah. Yeah. And she's trying a setup with the back air, like the three box back air setup is not quite working against Josh there. Yeah. A lot of a lot of peaches have been putting work into the edge guard in this matchup specifically. Yeah. Specifically uh B-Bats. And you know po uh, Polish and Wally and the likes. B-Bats such a great aggressive pitch. Yeah. And um, yeah, there's crazy stuff you can do with turnips and floats to really just limit Mart's options on the ledge. Getting to the ledge rather. Ooh, great shield grab. You know what we haven't seen? A stitch fit. Probably not surprising because McLeod hasn't been pulling, but uh, yeah. but it should be the time for what it. What the hell? <laughs> I haven't seen one all day. I haven't seen, I haven't seen a dot eye, to be honest. <laughs> Playing on a uh, no turnip mode. Yeah, check the disc. <laughs> only, only normal style turnips. That was an up tilt, maybe it was killed. Uh... Uh oh, ooh, grabs? That could have been a charge to anything. Maybe like a crazy up smash or something. So barely gets around that board. Uh, that's that, yeah. It's tough. 
here. Oh, puts it all on the net. Oh no my way. god, that's that such is... a mocking yeah. moment. That is criminal. Oh, but she gets around it. No up tilt. He's, he's Decker. He's, he's being a little, being a little, little guy right now. Oh, Rascal. <laughs> Absolute scoundrel on the snakes. Clouds on last off. Ooh, scary. Oh, great choice. Oh no, it's scary. Oh, I thought a down air was going to somehow materialize there. Okay. Great. Yeah, between the hits of Muff now. This is so extremely winnable. Ooh, trying to throw it down, not having time. Oh. Get up attack, so good. Ooh, the Nair just beating the forward air. I feel like the forward air was like there to try and beat the Nair. Oh, great shield poke. Oh. Okay. Unlucky, gets out of the tipper. Oh, crazy slap there. Crazy movement. Oh, there's a funny looking one. No stitch though, still. Oh, oh scary to get shield grab there. Oh, roll in, gets it. Nothing. Oh. Okay, skip. Okay, down there. Oh. No spot dodge. Oh, no. Oh, he's just been trapped so many times here. That's going to be it. Oh, oh, no! That's it! Oh, <laughs> my God. McLeod with the absolute steal of the century. She took his jump, she took his move, she took everything. That's such a Muff Peach classic. Oh yeah. You overextend a little bit and all of a sudden... So smart by McLeod and on the back. I like you saying it's an adjustment going between playing characters, but it's an adjustment for McLeod. Completely different matchups. Yeah. But, I mean, McLeod's practice. Yeah. McLeod is like a muscle memory type player. Ooh, just runs up and does it. McLeod not quite having the down smash up. Not hard, but still gets the uh, conversion there. Josh oh, isn't really giving her anything meaningful here. Yeah, she's playing uh, really cool right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, alright, alright, you know what? He is. <laughs> you, you brought it to fruition, dude. Yeah. You can't rely on Josh to miss a deck You gotta expect he's gonna take it. Looking like a, a hard kind of thing. Yes. Pokemon Stadium Fox. What? What is he? What is he cooking? He's he's going funny mode right now. Oh, he had it. But he's trying to be too much of a jester about it. Desperately needs to hit the dead guard, doesn't. It's a reversal situation that's so upsetting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh is putting on way too much pressure right now. I think he's looking for a force though. He's looking for a statement right now. Oh, no, McLeod. He's trying to do the cool laser. Yeah, he's going for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Insane. Oh. That was so good. Yeah. That's so cool. But McLeod's pushing buttons right now. And all, all up in his business. Yeah, that full health down there hasn't worked at all against anyone, really. I think I saw it work one time. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be, I thought it was an up there. How does she get down? Ooh, dash attack. Dashy. Or whatever. Oh my. Josh is kind of stunting right now. He's, he's yeah. playing a little mean. Play, play, playing, playing with his food. Yeah. Oh. Nice grab. I wonder what she got. that would have killed that. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about that too. And she was desperately getting for dear life for us to that. Whoa. And there it is. Reaction or not, it works either way. And Josh Man is your big cheese for champion for melee and P plus. Dominant. Dominant. Melee champ. Love that. Melee. Melee. What a what a treat this tournament was. Yeah, what a pleasure to watch. What a top eight full of twists and turns.
Kaiser, 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 Kaiser. The real winner of the Big G's Four. The person who did all the work. <laughs> the real loser of the Big G's, to be honest. <laughs> Where's Josh, man? Are we? No, he's just sitting down. What's he got to say? Yeah, what I, is that to say? He, yeah, said, it, he I, said it in his gameplay. He's going to be like, yeah, I did it, man. Uh, does Josh play Fox and P+. Plus? He plays Fox and Marth. Alright, um... Hey guys, how are we going? You holding up fine? Yeah. Um, yeah. Would one of you like to do interviews for maybe top two soon? Hey, you want to chat? Who wants to chat? Do you want to chat? I'll do it, yeah. You want to chat? Yeah. Alright. All right. Here's Josh Mann. <laughs> Sounds great to me. Enjoy, my love. Alright. Hop on there, Joshy. All right, and everyone in chat, join me for a rousing round of applause for our big Give it up, guys. champion, yes. Josh Man, aka Sora, aka Lil Frick Shot. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, get it, dude. Thank you, man. Well played, dude. Thank you. How do you feel? What a rush, dude. I wish that fucking Nair and that uh, Marth FD game here. I just got fucking <laughs> di and died instantly. I'm that like, was funny. I'm glad yeah. that happened. That was pretty funny. <laughs> no, I felt pretty good, dude. It was like, oh, Mickey, what's up? It felt pretty good. I think McLeod, once. Uh, so you saw what happened. Uh, I thought it was last stock in the first set in winners when I said something to McLeod. Well, she was just like, um, she was rolling around a bunch. And I thought like I killed her and then this, the game was over. And I was like, you're kind of like a piggy in the, in the mud right now. <laughs> and then she goes... Dude, you guys goes, stop talking during sets. It's no, 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 so no. fucked. Don't worry about that, man. <laughs> and then she goes... And I look at the screen and there's another stock. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> But uh, she, so she, no, no, Josh, she man. had she had headphones in, so she couldn't hear me. Thank fuck for the AirPods. I didn't mean to, but it was really funny. <laughs> I thought it was lost. I've seen sock my sons get yelled at for less than that. No, it's fine. <laughs> McLeod and I have beef. Real? I think we just fundamentally don't fuck with how we play the game, each of us. But I actually love how McLeod played this this tournament. The fucking goodie set was flames. Both McLeod goodie sets. Yeah, they were Excellent awesome. Sets. Yeah, the loser set especially was pretty cool. Also, even though it's FD, good to see McLeod get a couple of games. Yeah, there. yeah, absolutely. Like, um, it's it's really hard. <laughs> Did you hear McLeod audibly go, Yes! When she CC grabbed me out of a hyper float. That is awesome. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> nice. <laughs> get fucked. I was like, cool, cool. That's that's cool, though, because that's the shit that actually is exciting about Melee. You, like, grind some tech, and then it pays off in-game, and you're like, yeah. Yeah. I practice that. <laughs> Honestly, if McLeod gets better at fighting out of the corner, it'd be I think it'd be extremely different games, because I just would corner her a bunch and be like, yeah. grab. And well, the up-air up stuff. You Yeah, she got hit by every up throw up there. You played the situation of just mid-stage dash dance so well. Yeah. Like, you baited her so well into, like, dashing forwards, and you were always ready to stuff it with an air. Yeah, yeah. And I just at the percents where, like, you would just get an air and it would be an up smash. Uh, that matchup's so brutal. I think it might be, like, one of the worst in the top tiers. Like, she's just so bad. She can't even hurt Fox that bad. Like, yeah. her punish is shit. Oh, not McLeod. I mean, talking about fucking Peach. <laughs> Peach is, yeah. Fucking hit the lab cut. <laughs> exactly, just practice for one. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, it was cool. Uh, Goody, has anyone seen him? Uh, Goody will be in shambles. Yeah. You know, there are, there have been a couple of heartbreakers. Yeah. Uh, Jordy as well. Oh, out at nine. Jesus Christ. I think the top eight overall was insanely good. There were so many game five battles. Yeah. Dakar Ruben, Jordy Ruben. Ruben was, Ruben kinda, was yeah. in every yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Ruben was <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was sick, though. Shout out to Kai, too, for all this. I don't really have much to say. It's yeah, kind of no. beasted. Thanks for coming, man. Dude, thank fun. you, man. Let's, uh, let's drink some beers. Dude, yes. I would love that. Hopefully, I can make it to Big House. Fingers crossed. My vi They have my visa right now. Or they have my passport, even. And if I don't get it by the 18th, I will have to miss it. So, very nervous. You but once to, I get back to Melbourne, I'll have to hit him up about it. To party with SA Nick even longer in Melbourne. <laughs> Rats. If I'm allowed on the premises, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. I'll have a talk to the big man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To the house Microsoft owner. <laughs> All right. Much love for watching, guys. It was really fun. How did you have a good time commentating, man? I did, yeah. It looks. I saw you when I the thing happened with McLeod. You were just like, ooh, and I was <laughs> yeah, like, I shut up, shut up, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I've I've been there, dude. Yeah. I've I've been talked to at the setup by you. McLeod talked to me back, so it's okay. In the next set. So we're even Stevens, except oh, yeah. what I said it's way worse. Can you smile quickly for the camera with this? All right. Uh, I don't know how we end this. Yeah, but, uh, I'm just going to say bye. I'm going to put the headphones down. And I'm going to walk away. Bye. Bye.
Oh well, yo, he's pretty good, you know. That what guy. A, what a tournament! Yeah, and that was well played. really fun. Thank you. I don't know. That's set one versus Goody might have been the best I've played versus Fox in tournament. And I, I was talking about it earlier, but I've never taken a game versus Josh on FD. Yeah, yeah I don't think Josh I even got him. FD master. He's really good. He hits like a truck, and his neutral's cracked. And I like I was able to hold my own in neutral, and every time I got a grab, I actually did something with it. And like so, so hard to kill on the edge guard, and always makes you work for the edge guard. He well. does, especially if you haven't seen him in six months, and no one else in Australia yeah. does anything near it. It's fucked. That guy's so you're cracked. Uh, you're like three and zero in the last three sets against Goody as well. Yep. Now, That's yeah, big. he got me. He got me when I went to Melbourne, but then I got him at the two majors. Hell yeah, you're a you're a big game player. Yep. Would have loved to play you again. I uh, saw last set was actually a blast. But that's all right. We always like the last few sets we've played have been. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, we've been games. No, it was every single the last three big cheeses we played. It was all game five. Yeah, In, <laughs> which is funny. And then floating point was game five as well. So I was like, oh, it hurts. It hurts, yeah. Nick. <laughs> that's all right. I'll be back. Some one day. gamers are just pretty good, and <laughs> I need to get better while they're not playing, so I can not lose to them when they come back. So you know, it's just I, that's like the struggle of melee. It like, is. Sometimes you can just lose, and it. I mean, yeah. honestly, if you've put your all in and you've practiced and you played well, then that's it doesn't hurt as much. It doesn't. Honestly, like, I did a lot of new things. A lot of new things with Josh. Yeah, Josh said you hit, like, um, sub float into ASCI down grab. Yeah. <laughs> and it <like>, popped off. <laughs> yeah, I did. No, <laughs> it was... like That's what it's all about, Melee. You, I like, practice a thing and you <laughs> finally get it in tournament. It was specific. It was pivot. It was pivot grab ASDI down because set one... I, that was like an adaptation. I was like proud of that because that was an adaptation I made in between the sets. Because he just net like every time I dashed in or like I dashed back, he nerd me. And he got me every time, and yeah. like he just had a really good intuition of when I was gonna like turn around to dash. So instead of turning around to dash, I did like pivot grab hold down and then grab the nair, which was I was proud of that because I'm like that was the thing I like wanted to do to beat the thing he was owning yeah. me in the first set. And I actually did it. So yeah, it I think nice. if you figured like something out about the mid screen, you would have like yep. you would have had a really good shot because like. What he was doing amazingly was like he would when you were both dash dancing, he yep. just knew when you would dash in. Like when you would overcommit to a dash attack, and then like the fox snare just comes into up smash. It's yeah, <laughs> I think I, I need to watch more. Triff abuses dash attack. I like. I, I think I watched Triff first, Josh, and he just mashes that button. Yeah. And I think I just I need to watch a lot more of him and how he actually how he uses dash dance, how he how he takes and holds his face. I think that that like holding down and like doing like pit, like holding down like wave dash hold down. And like using shield in different spots is really important to like move forward versus Josh. I need to get comfortable. Like you can't go for the dash attack until you get comfortable. I I always called it like the minefield. Like you have to go through the minefield to get to get to Fox as yeah. Peach. You, you have to not get nared out of yes, your initial dash. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You have to get not get nared, not get drilled, not get grabbed out of your initial dash. Like being ambiguous enough to make it into the space where you can play a mix up. And it's just like no one forces me to do that in the same way as Josh does here yet. But yeah. it's uh, he's really good. On, like it was, it was funny. I was like, I've, uh, I, re I remember him being good because I was like watching him. But like the first time I realized Josh was good, good, right? Yeah. Because he's like he's from Australia. We, 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 he just never had any results. Had never had, never had the opportunity. But then I was like, I watched Triff vs IBDW at some point, and I'm like, oh, that's the thing Josh does. That's the thing Josh does. Oh, Josh plays that spot better. Oh, Josh plays that spot better too. How do you yeah. get caught there? And we I was like, oh, knew. Josh is good. <laughs> yeah. In like 2022, <laughs> we all kind of knew like. Josh is going to go to America and, like, play. I feel I'm, I feel like cautious optimism, where I'm like I don't. We, we, it's it's a wait and see, but I would love to play you. I always, I always have loved to play you. Like yeah. even from like back in the day, I used to go over to your house for like three hours, got my ass owned. I was like, you've always been really fun to play for me. But anyway, I know, I uh, such a good performance. So it's fun cheering for you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you, man. All right. Any any final shout outs by the way? For the, um, for the shout outs. Fuck. Honestly, the whole community for being, obviously, coming out today and being super accepting and just, like, the setup of the tournament. Actually, big shout out to the <laughs> Queenslanders. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the sound has been fucked the whole time. Oh, that's really funny. Awesome. <laughs> no. No. That's funny. But shout out to the Queenslanders. They showed up at, like, 2 p.m. on, like, 
They shut off at 2 p.m. on Friday, and like they set off everything before I even got there. Hey, yo, testing. Is this is this better? Can we hear? Is this better? Is this better? Testing. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I think I have to get it right next to my mouth. Oh well. We'll finish up anyway. Love all right. you all. Alright, folks, uh, stick around. We're just going to present the awards to all of our gamers. So, one second while we do that. Yeah, so I just need to set up a little, a few things here and there. Um, so, one second, everyone. Uh, and then I'll set you free, okay? N don't need to be here for too much longer. Alright, be right back. Give me like two minutes. All right. Hey, everyone in the venue. Hey, can you guys hear me through the speakers? Okay, thank you. All right, how's that, folks? You hear me loud and clear? We're sounding good? That's what I like. All right. Folks, first of all, all right, folks, what's up? I'm Kaiser. You can call me Kaiser. I'm easy. Um, thanks, everyone, for coming to Big Cheese 4. Uh, just a few housekeeping things. If you are still here and you are still able to, just pick up a little bit of trash if you see it. Just cups, empty trash bags, whatever you can see. Chuck it in the bin. That would be great. Um, second of all, the after party will be at the Exeter Hotel in the city tonight. Uh, and I believe that starts 8 or 9. I think it's like open at 9 p.m. or so. Um, now, without further ado, I am here to congratulate our top three players for Super Smash Brothers Melee at Big Cheese 4. So, first of all, 
we'd like to congratulate everyone who came, placed, all that stuff. But here we have our top three. First off, can I get Goody to the stage for taking third? Well done, man. This is all yours. This is custom made from the big cheese himself. Wear it with pride. All right. Congratulations to Goody. Is he going to skull? We don't encourage anything but responsible drinking. All right. Thank you, Goody. And thank you so much for coming to Adelaide again. In second place, can we give it up for McLeod? From the big cheese himself, wear this one with pride. Thank you. Well done on getting second. Give it up. And last but not least, you know him, you love him. Let's hear it one more time for Josh Man. Well done, mate. This one is all yours. The Big Cheese 4 Super Smash Brothers Melee Champion Cheese Board. Dude, thank you, man. One more time. He's your champion. All right. Do you have anything to say to this crowd? Shut the fuck up, Jasper, man. Just one time, man. Just keep it down. That's pretty much it. Lovely. All right. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Ah, it's all over. It came and went so quick, but I've appreciated having each and every one of you here. Um, shout outs to a lot of people who put this thing on. I wanted to do a full credits thing, but didn't get time, but that's okay. Um, first off, shout outs to Flow Rats. He's the man in charge of all the event management. The thing would not happen without him. Give it up for Jack. <laughs> we could give it up for me as well. I did all the broadcast. I did all the stream. I did all the design. Shout outs to Oscar. Huh? Yeah, I did. I, I did mention the after party. Thank you, Jack. Um, give it up for Flare Rats. All right. Um, shout out to Oscar. Yeah. Sh shout out to Moscow for running a lot of the um, melee bracket. And also, Josh, man, he did a lot of work as well, just making sure people played their games and ran around the venue. I really appreciated that. Um, shout outs to Oscar for the logo design and shout out to Tide Ray for those two putting the trailer together. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, obviously, there's a lot more people to thank. Thank you to the St. Clair Rec Center for everything. And shout outs to Melee. And shout outs to everyone here. All right. I'm done. I've rambled on long enough. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you tonight. Peace out. Time to set you free. <laughs> All right. Where do we where do we want to go, everyone? Uh, where do we want to go? Let's see. Um, fuck it. Why not? You're